contributors to TalkShip Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy Studios Incorporated. Visitors are urged to use their own discretion to draw their own conclusions. All information, product, services, and use of this website is for entertainment purposes only and personal use only. TalkShip Radio Network does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained within the website or broadcast. Any services or products provided by TalkShip Radio Network and its host contributors should be used solely for entertainment purposes only. Talk Shit Radio, I'm Yvonne. Hey, what's up? This is Tim. This is Talk Shit Radio. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. How are you doing? I'm fucking freezing cold. Oh, stop. It ain't that fucking bad. No, it, it's pretty bad out there right yeah. now. It, we were outside at Walmart yesterday, and how many people were actually stuck on the side of the road. Yeah, and we, right. saw, we saw a tractor trailer flipping, flip the other way on the other side of uh, the highway. That one dumb in the wrong fucker. direction. And then you had that one dumb fucker trying to go up the hill that he's not going to make. Yeah, we tried to help this guy who, who, who was trying to climb a hill on a two-wheel drive uh, pickup truck. And uh, we couldn't ha- get any grip actually pushing this thing. Um, we were trying to help him out any way we, co- we could. Um, we told him to back up and make, uh, make the turn. Don't even bother going up the hill. But what does he do? Went up the hill. He tried to go back up the hill, so he probably came back down backwards. We left. We yeah, we left. Right. We, tried, we tried to help him. I- I- ignorance is bliss, right? Yeah, it was yesterday, i got to be honest with you. <laughs> so, uh, Tim, here we are, day two at the GW Zoo, and um, I don't know about you, but uh, so far, pretty fucking cool, huh? I- I'm fucking loving it, actually. Yeah, yeah. You looked like you had a good time yesterday, buddy. You oh, went I out there and, uh, and did what? I, I, did some, I, I did some dirty work yesterday. Yes, you did, bro. Um, yes, you did. They, they actually needed to uh, get some food for the animals here, so they, they get a, a carcass of a cow. And I actually butchered it up with one of the employees here. And uh, I, I feel dressed animals before. I don't have a problem with it. Um, it was freezing cold yesterday, so I was wearing rubber gloves and a sweatshirt. I didn't want to dirty up my nice sweatshirt. So I uh, put on an old junkie sweatshirt, and I get out there. And uh, we start cut, cutting up this, uh, this, this cow. And, and, and what I never realized, because I always cut, cut up deer, is cow's hide is so friggin' tough. You, you need a hacksaw to get through that. So I kept on sharpening the knife that they kept on giving me, a little fillet knife that you uh, try to get through um, the skin with. Um, after that, uh, when you get inside the carcass, it was still warm because it, it, it's been dead since the day before. <laughs> when I walked over there, I could still see the steam coming off of it. Well, I, I, my hands were numb. Like, my, my <laughs> fingertips were numb. So I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, this, this feels so warm. I'm just laying my hand in, in, in a pile of freaking guts. <laughs> inside the guts. Inside the guts. And, and trying to get this, uh, uh, this, this guts taken out of this cavity of the freaking cow. But yeah. I actually, uh, the reason I left yesterday when I was over there taking pictures. Why? Because you were about to throw up? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I bet. a whiff. You caught a whiff of it? I caught a whiff. We didn't even break uh, the intestines of the stomach or anything like that. It didn't smell that bad. I don't know what it was, but I caught a whiff and I was out of there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll be inside. It was it was so cold yesterday that the inside of this cow it was so friggin' warm. I just wanted to crawl up in it like Luke, Luke Skywalker in in, uh, M- M- in uh, Empire, Empire Strikes Strikes Back. Strikes back yeah. <laughs> when he gets stuffed into the tauntaun. Yeah, well, he needed to survive that night. <clears throat> That's what he right. did. Yeah, any yep. means necessary. Yeah. So the show is up and running on um, Spreaker dot com, and you can find us talk shit. Uh, radio. You network. know, I don't have my laptop in front of me, so I'm at, I'm lost right now. I can't share. Uh, I'm usually sharing left and right on on Facebook, uh, and, and I'm usually in chat. I'm not even in chat. Yeah, it feels weird not being in the chat or anything like that. It, it, it's weird to be out of your element. That's 
That's all I gotta say. Yeah, not not being in our studio and broadcasting like this is definitely definitely uh, it feels weird. Hopefully um, this morning, if Joe gets up uh, any time jo- soon, he'll join us. He's gonna come into the studio, join us, and talk a little shit with us. Um, we were actually on his uh, his program. Yeah, yesterday. that was cool. Yeah, that was yeah, that was cool. that was really cool. Yeah. We're representing Joe Exotic shirt. Absolutely, you saw that. That's, That's right. Got to show love. A Joe Exotic thing. You know what's up. Got to show the love. Damn right. Damn right. Um, I also actually like to uh, give a happy birthday shout out to Joe. Absolutely. It is his birthday today. Today is his official birthday, right, Travis? Yep. Travis is in the background going, "Yep, <laughs> yep." Hmm. He's like, "I almost didn't make the call. <laughs> I had the call. I had the call." He 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 was happy I called. Yeah, happy good. birthday. Happy birthday to the Jew. Oh no, wrong song. Sorry, I was going back. Wrong to song. No, you're going the back Jew. to my childhood. You're the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> going back to my childhood. With my Yamaha. With my Yamaha on my, my Yamaha. head. That was funny yesterday. Yeah, I know. that was hilarious. Makes me want to freaking <laughs> take <laughs> a picture of me with my Yamaha. On. Yeah, get your Yamaha and we'll take pictures of it. Of Listen, little the Jew boy. The sad part about it is I have two of them. Okay, I have my. Um, I have a, a regular throw around one for just any old everyday Sundays. Yeah. And then you have the actual ceremonial yarmulke, which you wear to funerals do, and to mass. Do you and do you like wear that. it? No. No. <laughs> no. I wear it if I go to a funeral when somebody's a Jew and they get buried. I I always wondered. I always wondered. Now, when you get older, does the Yamaka get bigger because you know you're growing, your head gets bigger, no. or it's all the same size. No, there's baby yarmulkes. They do get bigger, but once you get to about 15, it, it's one size fits it's all. It's one size it. fits all. And I never That's could it. understand the damn thing when I was a kid. I always used to say, "There's something wrong with my hat. It don't fit. There's something wrong with my hat. It don't fit." And my grandfather would be like, "It's not a fucking hat, you idiot." <laughs> did, did did it keep falling off? Because you don't hold like on, on no, you, men. You bobby pin it. You, you have to bobby pin you it on. Yeah, pin I've it. Seen Unless you're like you and you ain't got no hair, then you just uh, yeah. How would that work with me? Stick your velcro. I, 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 not even. I would take super glue. <laughs> no, you just right use on. the velcro and you just stick it to your head. <laughs> <laughs> be like a bad hair piece at that point. Yeah. How much hair would I lose? You said the hair piece. The hair piece. I would have to have a hair piece after that. Yeah, you would need herpes on the brain to wear one of them things and out in public. <laughs> I, I remember up in New York walking around in, in Brooklyn looking at all the Hasidics. Oh, yeah, with the freaking uh, Jerry Curl oh, yeah. uh, sideburns that they have. They so fucking bad, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah, do? I know. I actually was there for, um, oh, I think it was Ramadan. And they, oh, they're, Jesus. They're surrounded um, by them. You're surrounded by them. Uh, is it Ramadan or Rosh Hashanah when they, Rosh Hashanah. they, they, they kill the, um, the, the chickens to, um, to relinquish their sins? Rosh Hashanah. That's Rosh Hashanah, yeah. I thought that was self uh not self mutilation. Self mutilation. Uh, I'm gonna say self mutilation. <laughs> um, they're choking their chickens. Yeah, they they really are. <laughs> I, I thought that was cruel, but I hope they ate the chickens yeah, afterwards. They do. Okay. They do. It's all religious. I, I really don't know the religion. Yeah, it's all religious. Um, it falls under all sorts of religious. Did you ever practice uh, Rosh Hashanah? Yes. You gotta remember, I grew up in a very Jewish household. When my grandfather died, the religion died with him, basically. Mm-hmm. So once he passed away, that was it. I really, um, you know, that was the end of it. Whereas me, I'm a Catholic. I was baptized. Never confirmed, never had my communion or anything like that. But I'm a Christian. A non-practicing Christian, yeah. but I'm a Christian. To where I kind of probably, I could probably say, with all honesty, now I'm an atheist. Mm-hmm. You know. I don't know what to believe. You'd have to die. I have to die to find That's out what's on the problem. other side. Yes, exactly. I would have to be dead to find out what's on the other side. I know in my heart and in my mind, I believe in the scientific el- evolution of life, the yeah. Big Bang Dar- theory, Darwin's theory. Right, yes. Exactly. The uh, science, I feel the same way. The science part of it just makes more sense to me. You know, I just don't believe that there's this one almighty God sitting up there telling you, "Up, fart, quick." <laughs> no, I just don't see it. DJ Sassy Pants. That is my beautiful little daughter. I love you, my sweetheart. I am so glad you made it to the show. She's like, it's early enough. I'm not at school yet. I yeah. just got I just got up. I'm yep. going to listen to my dad, throw on the uh, speaker account, get in chat. That Thanks. is awesome. My daughter made it to chat, everyone. I really appreciate you, you making it to the chat room. Last night, honey, we were on Joe Exotic TV. So, and I do believe we're going to be on again tonight, right? I believe so, actually. Yeah, I believe we're going to be on again tonight. So, um... For everyone that is listening out there, including my beautiful daughter, 
Um, why not? Why aren't you going to school today? Are you playing hooky? I'm telling everybody. Oh, I'm calling your teachers. We're calling your school. I'm calling this Albanese. <laughs> I'm calling this Albanese. That's it. I got a number on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Only because she was hot. Only because she was hot. <laughs> Angie's going to kick our ass over that one. Angie, go to fucking school. Go to school, baby. Go to school. No, I'm only kidding. What's up? Um, no, ask mom. Okay. Okay. So this was predetermined yesterday. Yeah, this was already decided. <laughs> and, 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 and Miss Silent Mish didn't say nothing nope, to you. That, hence the name, Silent don't, Mish. Don't tell dad. Don't tell your father. Shh. <laughs> yeah, well. but uh, catch us on Joe Exotic TV. Um, actually, it's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central. <laughs> look at her. She's like, yep. Uh, I can't look that far. I, I'm still waking up over here. I know. Here. It's hard to I went to bed really, really late last night. And, uh, the night before, I didn't sleep really that At well. At all, right? No, like two hours, three hours, maybe. Yeah. I, I, did you see some of the pictures we posted of the baby tigers and everything we posted so far? Waiting to see what I got coming today. Did, did, did you see my picture with Joe Exotic? In my uh, in my underwear. Um, let's hope she didn't see well, that. A one. little happy birthday. Let's hope she didn't see that one. <laughs> she's gonna scar my daughter for life. <laughs> she's seen the first. She's seen the first one. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. What you had too much fun? <laughs> yeah, Way we are much. having a good time, honey. Timmy butchered a, a bull yesterday or a cow yesterday. Cow. I got to see its innards. What I thought was really cool, bro, is when you busted open the chest cavity. Mm -hmm. and it was hollow. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in there. Except innards. I thought it was, I don't know, I just always thought... What did you think was in there? Freaking cogwheels and machinery? I don't know, I really, I just figured it would be like filled with some kind of liquid or something. I didn't think no, it would be like... No, we didn't, we didn't puncture any of the organs. The we we, we didn't flip the freaking sack of yeah, uh, the stomach stack. That's what I'm saying. There was that white lining around the ribs and then everything was in there. I just figured all of that was not empty. I figured it was liquid and all of that was suspended in the liquid. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm chopping up this uh, this cow and, and I'm wondering, I'm like, hmm, are we going to take a piece of this and, and uh, cook it up? And cook it up? Did you get the, did you bite the heart? No, I didn't bite the, to heart, bite the heart. But, for some reason. But the heart, the heart, you ever seen, you ever seen a cow's heart? No, I have it, not. It's like two times the size of a softball. Like, really? Yeah, like that. I saw you throw the you, liver or something away. No, it was the lungs. Was it the lungs? Yeah, it was the lungs. It was the lungs. Oh, it was a lung. wing. It was a wing. How about a, uh, you want a leg, Henry? My mother's going to cook for us, Henry, guys. my mother's cooking pasta and uh, meat sauce for us when we get done here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> if the chat was down, you'd be able to do the vomit noise. Oh, yeah, that's right. I could, man. I yeah, just, no, that's right. Went like okay. this. The switchboard's down. And then I go like this. We can go... <laughs> <laughs> Do I make you horny, baby? Do I make you horny, baby? <clears throat> what else we got going on, brother? I mean, there's so much shit. Well, today I was actually hoping to get out on the uh, um, out in, in the park. In the snow. Well, I went out in the park yesterday. It was freezing cold. I only got to see half the park because of how cold it was. We didn't go to the back. Yeah. Um, but how many tigers you pass by, man? It's amazing. They'll, wherever you look, when you go down one aisle, it's freaking tiger to yeah, the it's, tiger it's, to your right. If there was no cages in there, I, I I'd fear for my life. It's absolutely incredible. It's awe-inspiring, as I guess the word, because when you walk around here, man, it's just absolutely amazing, unbelievably amazing. You just uh, you you can't believe your eyes when you see some of the things. Um, but if the, if the snow sticks on the ground and stays on the ground, Travis, he's going to take me out on, on the ATV and he's going to drag my ass around. Going to take you for a drag, right? And take me for a drag. <laughs> I'm going to leave you wherever I find you. Yeah, right. Now nah, we'll just bring you over where to the. the Cow carcasses. Oh yeah, and they cut me up, and I yeah. could be fed the friggin' uh, nobody to tell. Yeah, nobody to tell. We'll call Carol. She'll yeah, we'll call Carol. Tampa. We'll She'll have come up from Tampa. She knows how to cook you up. We'll, we'll have her goombas come over here. You know, tell us what to do. How to friggin' you know make make sure that no evidence is left behind. <laughs> Well, they got the hyenas, and they eat bones and everything. You so. say hyenas? Hy hyenas? Hyenas? <laughs> I, I still haven't. I still haven't heard the hyena um, laugh. That that <laughs> whatever it is. It, not like that, whatever. but I, I haven't heard it laugh. <laughs> this ain't the Lion King now. <laughs> the, the monkey's his uncle. <laughs> his uncle. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> is there anyone else in chat? I don't know, bro. I, I'm I'm curious to see. Not just my baby girl, right now. She's the only one. <laughs> What else, brother? What else? I was uh, I was a little nervous yesterday at first, going on Joe Exotic TV. Why? I don't know. It's not my show. 
I understand it's not your show, but we're, 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 we're people that are in the limelight as well, as you, you know would call it. No, I know. It's just it's different when I'm sitting in my studio in front of my camera, in front of my listeners and my audience. That's true. You know what I mean? It's a stranger's audience, or not a stranger, but it's a strange audience. It's a strange studio. You know, people in the background staring at it. It's not like our studio. People right? looking at my ugly mug. Yeah. They don't want to see that shit. It's not like our studio where, um, there. You know, we control everything from right up here on the main board. Mm -hmm. I mean, I control the cameras. What what camera? How much sound? They, you know, there's a production crew here that that you know helps them out with that. Now um, we don't have to do nothing. We're just sitting back. Yeah, you know, they're, they're queuing like up everything shit. over there. Yeah, I yeah. Honest, which it's like, hey, snap to it. Get that fucking clip played. What the hell's wrong with you? you and, and only yet? and only me and you know how to really use the board at home. No, so. that's the funny thing. I bet, you I, can, I bet you I can bring my video board and my video mixer in here and stump the shit out of them all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's analog. Bro. I know. That's I know. an analog fucking audio mixer. That's nothing that we have. Mm -mm. I don't think my system would even work with that audio mixer because it's analog and I'm set up all digital. Yeah, but digital is so fucking complicated. When I'm sitting down on the screen, I'm like, don't touch, any, don't touch any of the dials. <laughs> don't fuck up any of the sounds. <laughs> I can't hear myself in this microphone. What the fuck's going on? Digital is extremely complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's the, the highest quality of sound that you can actually get. Um, that's one of the confusing things about our board is because it's so fucking in depth and all the, the shit that's in it that's programmed in it. So, but yeah, I, I enjoyed just being able to sit here and talk. That was it. And, and just talk. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm lost right now because of the freaking computer situation that's no, not in front yeah. of me. I, I can't read you know any of the articles. I haven't been up to date with any of the news. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck's and going you on follow in the world. The news more than I do. Yeah, I. I yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I, I really do like to watch uh, news reports. That, that's one of my favorite things to do is sit there and watch news reports and find out what's going on in the world, of course. That's Travis why, that's why I do what I do here. Web 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I feel like I'm in, in, in Middle Earth over here. There's nothing, you know, nothing going on. I, I, don't, I don't know where I am. Wait, wait, what's going on in wait the world? Minute, wait a minute. I got a question for you. If we're in Middle Earth, who does that make you? I'm Frodo. You're Frodo? I'm Frodo. I'm not Samwise Ganji. Yeah, you're Sam. I cannot be Sam. Well, I'm fat enough, so it might work. It might work. <laughs> I'm just, I'm actually probably short enough, too. <laughs> yeah, it might be. You realize that we are surrounded by tall people, you notice that? There's uh, not, not too many fucking short people other than us here. I'm about the same size as uh, Joe. Yeah, but yeah. everybody else is fucking gargantuan. Look at him over there, man. Yeah, he's fucking, he, he walks bigger shit than we are. He walks around at six foot three, six I know, foot four. Man. Fucking size 17 boot. That's one thing you don't want up your ass is his 17 boot, buddy. That's a big fucking foot. I'm looking at it right here. It's a big foot. <laughs> oh, by the way, we did find Bigfoot. He's right here. In He's Oklahoma. right here in our studio. <laughs> Please, could, could we get an interview, sir? Yes. Uh, you heard it first, folks. Uh, Bigfoot on Talk to Radio Network. Sasquatch is here. Sasquatch is here. Sasquatch is here. <laughs> And in other news. <laughs> and in other news. <laughs> hmm. uh, you, know what the weekend. you know what the temperature is right now? Wasn't Outside. It, wasn't it like 17? It's 16 right now. 16 degrees. And the high is only going to be 40. You yeah. know what it is in Florida today? Right now, it's 70 degrees. You know what the high is going to be today? 88. Ah. Uh. Disgusting. I'm Disgusting. changing our flight. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I just can't believe how uh, quickly the weather changes over here. The yeah, first day we got pathetic. here, it was like 60 degrees, and then just overnight, it dropped. It dropped below freezing. Yeah, that and was yesterday, it was hail. Uh, it was sleet. It was friggin', uh freezing rain, and then it started to snow really bad. That was wicked. Definitely. You don't even see changes like that in New York. No, you don't. You don't really see changes like that in New York. Um, I, I like New York because oh, you get all the seasons. You get all four seasons, and around here, it's probably the same exact thing. No, I bet where, you just get warm weather and cold weather around here. Where, <laughs> no, well, where, whereas in Florida, all it is is just hot, happy medium, hot and sticky, and you don't really don't want to go outside because you can't breathe. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it gets to the point sometimes in Florida where I can't even stand outside. I can't believe the people out there are landscapers, you know, AC technicians and attics. And, uh, yeah, that's out of, that's that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Definitely crazy. It's colder in here this morning. It is. It's a little chilly in here. Yeah, it's chilly in here this morning. I'm, I'm not bothered by this right now. No, this ain't so bad. No, this, this ain't, ain't so bad for sure. Let's see. We got some more chat. Is that DJ Sassy Pants going on? Let's see. It's cold up there. Yes, it is, baby. Um, Angie says, I'm a loner. 
You'd, <laughs> you'd freeze your little tuchus off. Angie, you would freeze your little kentuchus off. Yes. You're walking around in a blanket at the house when it's freaking 80 degrees outside. Yeah, you notice that? She thought, well, that's because I keep it at 70 degrees in the house. <laughs> that's what it should be at. In, no. in New York, how, 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 how high do you put the temperature in New York in, in I the winter? never, ever. 68, 70? I think that 72 was probably the, the highest, highest that I've ever put it. Well, because of the gas situation. Oh, God, you don't want to freaking oh pay for gas. Every, I, I try to pay, like, when I was up there. Um, I put 150 gallons in, and that would last me maybe four weeks, maybe maybe five weeks. You know that government program where they fill up your tank? No. The LEAP? No. Yeah, they got this program up on Long Island that's called, like, the LEAP or HEAP or something like that. It's, um, if you can't afford to pay for your heating oil or your... They'll pay it for you? Yeah, they'll actually come out and fill your tank. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I it's a good that. deal, bro. I tell you what, we got into a situation after you know I lost my job in New York and and uh, crops slowed down, money stopped coming yep, yep, in, yep. and um, the tank went dry, and it was below freezing outside, and I couldn't believe how fast everything froze up in that house. This one time at band camp, yeah, um, on Christmas Eve. I think it was. This is 2011. Mm -hmm. um, heater. Uh, the heat just went off. Okay. You know, and, and my gas tank, my, my oil tank was empty. No one you know to come out and do it until the 26th. Yeah. So I'm sitting there with freaking space heaters, not taking a shower for two days. I felt gross. Ugh. Yeah, and you take a shower every single day, sometimes twice a day. Yeah. 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 See, I can go a day or two without a shower, but that third day, I'm like, ugh, I gotta take a shower. <laughs> no, I just feel grimy just yeah. Even when I'm clean, I feel friggin' dirty. I don't know why. The other day, I took three showers in a row. I was just so overheated. Um, couldn't. No matter what I did, I couldn't get comfortable. No matter what. You all right over there, Spider? I'm all right, Spider. You all right, Spider? You all right, Spider? I'm all right, Spider. That Spider ain't all right, Spider. Spider ain't all right. He's spider. still petrified. Not all right. We're going to have to get a picture of that, that's for sure. I'm going to show everybody. Um, my mic level seems low. Let's try that right there. That's better. There we go. I can actually hear us in our headphones. Now I can, yeah. yeah. Yep. We're coming through good, though. I think so, yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yep. Now I can hear us talking back. Cool. So, uh, shit, bro. What do we got planned for today? Today's going to be one of those days, I guess, huh? <laughs> Like I said, I'm out of my element right now. There's no local news in front of me. There's no Bay News 9. <laughs> um, this person didn't freaking drive on the wrong side of the road today because I don't see it in front of me. <laughs> if I can't report it and it's not in front of me, it, it didn't, didn't happen. happen. It didn't happen. All right. I got some news on my phone that we can see what's oh, going on. Oh, you can see what's going on out there? Yeah. Let me, uh, I think I got the, the Wi-Fi going on. Um, we got Joe Exotic's new song all, uh, all queued up, so we're going to play that a little bit later. Uh, first story I got is on, um, let's see, CNN.com, and it says, uh, Iran FM, Netanya speech had no effect. Israel uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanya and his supporters are trying to create an atmosphere of hysteria and fear mongering, the Iranian foreign minister said. Um... You know, I, I know this, this story was up, and the whole interview and everything, uh, it's audio, so um, the whole interview and everything went, let's see, it says, uh, goes on to say, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanya and his supporters are trying to create an atmosphere of hysteria and fear-mongering. The Iranian foreign minister said Thursday, the only explanation that, can ha that you can have here is that some people consider peace and stability as an existing threat. Um, I, that don't make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, because a deal cannot be threatening to anybody unless you want conflict and tension and mistrust and crisis. A highly controversial speech to the American Congress on Tuesday, Nintendo said that far from Staminia, Iran, the deal currently began no negotiating in Switzerland and would pave the way to nuclear weapons. So apparently Iran wants to fire up their nuclear weapons program again. And how does that make us look? 
that we're, we're going to do the same exact thing. Uh, you know, are we going to go to how, Iran how gonna, now? And, how are we going to yeah. feel about that? I yeah. mean, if they're threatening that they're, they're going to start their nuclear program again, uh, what does that mean? That World War III is going to be right around the block? Well, that's what they're saying. If you go on in the story, and uh, it, it it outlines the imminent threat of World War III is looming over Americans' heads. So, I mean, that's bad. That's real fucking bad because a nuclear war, all right, there's a difference between a ground war. We all know that. Bullets start flying. Uh, yes, they don't have... Uh, More troops sent out. Yep. Uh, worries about not coming home. Right. And that's one thing. Now, the bombs start flying. Now you got serious problems because just think about it. We live an hour north of a primary target. Uh, we live an hour south of a primary target. Mm -hmm. Northern target, obviously if, Crystal River Nuclear Power Plant. If that Southern nuclear target, power, power plant goes up, man, we're done. Yes. We're so, done Southern for target, there. there's just as a, as big of a reactor, nuclear reactor underneath McDill Air Force Base. So two prime targets right there. To wipe out half of, well, most of the west coast of Florida right there. Yep. Anyone from the south down in that area is fucked. You ain't getting past all of that shit. See, uh, what I don't, what I don't think that why I don't think that would really happen in Florida, because who who cares about Florida? There's really not that big of a population over there. McDill Air know. Force Base, brother. It's a prime target. It's where all the overseas military operations are run from. We've got pilots sitting in McDill Air Force Base flying drones in Iraq, Iran, Pakistan. Little video games. Meow, meow, taxing just them down drones the up in the air, and they're yep. just manned by a, a person at a computer in an office somewhere. Uh, in Tampa. In Tampa. Yeah. Yeah, it's an amazing gig. It's definitely amazing. Um, I got some commercials that we got to get up, Bubby. So let's get that. That's fine. We should have done that in the beginning, but that's all right. Yeah. We just wanted to get on and, and make sure everyone's out there listening. Absolutely. Thanks absolutely. for joining us. Absolutely, everyone. Appreciate the, the loyalty of our listeners. We are at the GW Zoo broadcasting live from Joe Exotics TV studio. Um, you're listening to Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We shall return in a minute. <laughs> If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold, or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. 
In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policy policies of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. That's 800-430-1481. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting enough? I bet you'd love more, right? Well, AdamandEve.com wants to give you more with 10 free gifts. First, you'll get a sexy surprise for her. Second, a specially selected toy for him. And third, a little something we know you'll both enjoy. Plus, you'll get six full-length adult movies on DVD. And number 10, free shipping on your entire order. So what do you have to do to get your 10 free gifts? It's not hard. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy, sexy piece of lingerie, or anything you desire. Just enter offer code GIFT13 at checkout and you'll get all 10 free gifts. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 10 free gifts, including free shipping. When you enter offer code GIFT13, that's G-I-F-T-13 at adamandeve.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars of pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 1-800-441-3678 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars. healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 1-800-441-3678 to take your call now call 1-800-441-3678 that's 1-800-441-3678 again 1-800-441-3678 Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk Shit Radio. Thank you for joining us. Yes, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just found a really interesting story. Why did I lose my sound on my headphones now? I, I still got... I hear you, I don't hear myself. Maybe it's just not put up loud enough. I don't know. Sound check. Oh, wait, that's us. That's us, we're here. That's us. <laughs> we're here. I forgot. <laughs> I pulled up a story actually in Nashville, Tennessee that I keep on seeing um, because of... Um, uh, parents who are not taking responsibility for their firearms. Um, it's another story that uh, involves a toddler, three years old, in Tennessee, shoots his uh, brother in the head. What the hell? That was me. My bad. Uh, 
the Coffee County Sheriff's Department said a toddler shot his uh, younger sibling <coughs> with a 25 caliber automatic uh, automatic pistol. Automatic pistol. That's ridiculous. Uh, they, they are legal, I think, in Tennessee. Actually, full auto is legal in Tennessee. Oh, oh it, it, is it? Yeah. Ah. Uh, um. Not good. Uh, they, Testing uh, one two. Okay, just making sure my mic is on. Jesus Christ! Just yelling in my ear again. It's that loud. I I got it when you said it that loud. Oh. Um, in, in, in Tuesday afternoon, uh, the community of Hillsboro, and that's in Florida. Are you you're killing me over here? <laughs> I'm sorry. You you, you want to take over the show? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to say these parents who have these firearms in their house, your kids can get to them. You've seen it time and time again. If you have a firearm in your house, get a friggin' trigger lock. Get a safe, remove the clip, take out the bullets, so then it's safe for, for kids not to be able to get it. You see what happens. Kids are dying. Yeah, there's, you're, you're, there's absolutely no your reason. Your child is finding a firearm, doesn't know what the hell it is, and pointing it left and right, and, and accidentally shoots, shoots his, their, their, their brother or sister. It, it just sickens me how people are, are so irresponsible. When they, it, it, it's responsible the gun safety. That? Responsible gun safety. That's basically, you know, one of the things that I really am adamant about. Just imagine the parents having to live with that, bro. <laughs> do, do you think that the three-year-old is going to be charged as an adult? Yeah. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> no, I think the parents are going to be charged at this point because of ne neglect to, uh, to safeguard their firearms. Which, that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. I absolutely believe that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Yeah, for sure. Now, I've got a story on uh, yournewswire.com, and now, I don't know if you know, it's the real deal or not, but it says, <clears throat> Secret Service to fly drones over the Capitol. What, and monitoring? I guess, yeah, and it's got a picture of a DJI Phantom crashed on the ground. So it says, in late January, a small unarmed quadcopter drone crash landed on the White House lawn. The drone was piloted by an employee of the National Geographic Intelligence Agency who decided to test flight his friend's quadcopter in the early hours of the morning and it crashed into the, Wash, uh, the Washington Post reported. The man was off duty at the time and was not involved in any work relating to the drones. The National Geographic said in a statement, the high-profile incident exposed a gap in security that the Secret Service has been trying to fix for years. It says, The announcement of drones will fly over D.C. comes just weeks after the government announced a set of rules governing the use of commercial drones in the United States. The Federal Aviation Administration regulate Regulations released February 15th, uh, specifically that drones up to 55 pounds are permitted to fly at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour mm -hmm. and up to 500 feet in altitude. Yeah. Up to 500 feet. They right. can't go any pa anywhere past that? That is correct. You cannot fly over 500 feet at that point. So it goes on to say, in addition, drones can now fly during the day and within the operator's line of sight. FAA officials say drone pilots must be 17 years or older, need to pass a written test, and must be able to check, be checked out by the Transportation Security Administration. So that means people like me will not be able to fly a drone because the Transportation Security Administration will not clear me for three reasons. Yeah. Number one, I'm a convicted felon. Number two, I'm a convicted felon. Number three, I'm a convicted felon. Right. So, and now number four, no way you can get around that even being expunge my record. That's the only way. That's it. But then when they find out that I'm a registered sovereign citizen, it's done. Wow, it, it's just how it, it's just amazing how many rights have been taken from me just because of being a convicted felon, and they're just tacking on more for. Isn't them. it disgusting, it, dude? Isn't it? What is what does that have to do with drawing, uh, flying a drone? Um, I guess they feel that because I'm a convicted felon, that I'm a criminal, and that I'll use my drone in a fashion that is not lawful. Um, whatever they may consider lawful, I do not consider, or whatever they may consider unlawful, I don't consider unlawful because they break the law more than we they do. They break the law more than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. We, we know that from firsthand.
Yeah. I know that from first hand. From you, how much shit we see in the friggin' news every well, single not day. Not only that, you don't bust somebody's door down and after they're in handcuffs, stomp them in the head. You just don't do that. You know? They don't like me. No. They, they don't like me. But it, it's, I feel the same way about them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, an eye for an eye, motherfucker. They, they One day I'm going to stomp you in the head. They abuse their authority. Metaphorically, of course. And, uh, metaphorically, I'm not really saying I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, but they, they abuse their authority just because they're cops, think they can get away with anything. Yeah, and, it, you know, there should be um, really, really strict, strict, strict rules for police officers that abuse their power. They shouldn't get paid leave, you know, paid administrative leave. And we're still paying for them. After yes. uh, uh, an incident happens and they get pay on paid leave, our taxes are still going to them. Yep. Going to that one officer that was uh, on off of paid, on paid leave yeah, it's because disgusting. of an incident uh, involved in a shooting or, or, or like just like the Michael so, Brown thing. So let's put it into a little bit of a context talk shit style. All right, Let's just say I'm a cop. I go out and I blow away three black dudes because I just felt like it. And I said that I was in fear for my life because they attacked me. Um, I get put on paid administrative leave and I can still... Um, go about my life now. It's just a vacation. That's what I look at it as. Yeah. It's a vacation for right. cops. They're getting paid. That would be the first thing I did. You tell me I got paid administrative leave, Disneyland. Here I come. Yeah, uh, on my next check. Damn right. I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. See, I don't know what the cops get paid here uh, in in Florida or anywhere else, but New York. Um, if you're on the police force for over five years, you're getting over a hundred thousand dollars, and that's your city. Yeah. I didn't know in that. five years, you'll get over $100,000. And I remember this because one of my friends who was a police officer has been in the force for over five years, and he's getting 102. Right? Wow. I do know that in uh, Florida, when I first moved to Florida in 1989, deputies, the guys who were out there on the streets, yes. only made 19 dollars a year. Wow. Yeah, isn't that disgusting? Yeah, that is. $19,500 a year. To to have people shoot at you and and just be treated you know just treat you like a piece of shit. Well, is it the area that they were getting so low of a pay? It was at it, the it time was like when the I old moved nice, there. Nice yeah. area that doesn't really have that much crime. I mean, well, of that's the thing. Crime yeah. everywhere, yeah. but um, the, the risk isn't really there for them to get paid at a higher rate, well, a higher salary. I believe that was it. I do believe that just because the population in Spring Hill was really, really low, um, there wasn't too many people in the town. So, yeah, you know, um, what are you going to do? All right, so let's see. Um, Gary Ooh. Douglas is in the chat. Yvonne, good morning. Gary, good morning. Timmy, we are not small. Are you tired? Am I tired? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to catch up. All up, moving and grooving. Good morning, John. John's made it. Good morning, John. Where's your, uh, your default picture? Yeah, Let's what's up? That down. Yeah, we got no picture for you. So we got John. We got DJ uh, Sassy Pants, which is my daughter, in the chat room. Good morning, everyone. Gary Douglas is in the chat room. Gary Yvonne. Douglas actually was one of the uh, one of the persons that were, was in Joe Exotic's house yesterday when oh, I was yeah. in the Joe Exotic underwear. He snapped yeah. a couple of pictures. That was funny, bro. Yeah, he probably wasn't expecting that. No, I, I, I wanted to give Joe uh, an early birthday gift, so I gave him a free show. I I, I haven't. See, I, he, he was quite happy. You, you see the smile on his face, brother. Oh, this is yeah. only day two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is only day two we're here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got to say, I got to give you a lot of credit, Timmy. Um, you are... Comfortable? Uh, yeah, you could say that. I was going to say more of... Um, more like a very brave person. I, I don't think a lot of people would have the cojones... To, to dress up in to, Joe Exotic underwear. To walk around like in Joe yeah. Exotic underwear and yeah. have that posted up on Joe Exotic yes. page, our yes. page. I give you a lot of fucking credit for that, dude. A lot of credit. No, the thing is, is I just like to have fun. Yeah, and you know what? That's really cool about you. That's what I love about you, brother. And, and, you know, um, and you know what I mean when I tell you I love you. Yeah. you know? See, e e even yesterday, it was a very, very dreary day, but I try to make the best out of every single day that you have on this planet. Um, if not, what, what's the point? What's the point, exactly. Uh, I'm down to do whatever. Live for today. Tomorrow will come. With some exceptions. Uh, yes. With some exceptions. Yeah, there are limits. Yeah, there are limits that you know you, you have to you have to figure out. Okay, um, should I or right. should I? Yeah, and exactly. And the minute those those limits are disrespected, 
um, that's when, you know, you seem like the type of person to say, hey, whoa, 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 you know, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what are you cold? It, uh, it's a little chilly in here. My, my leg, I don't know. I, yeah, I was, the feeling, top I was of the feeling thigh. my leg over here. And it was Stand like up. It might be, like, yeah, that might be it. What yeah. it That's what happened to me yesterday sitting here. My back started pinching a nerve. I feel like a game show host with this freaking microphone up to my face. I know. I'm holding right. it. There's no mic stand. No, we didn't bring a mic I'm stand. Sitting here holding the mic. I'm kind of glad we did. Barker. I'm kind of glad we did. Doing the price is right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Bob Barker anymore. Nah, it's not Bob Barker. Bob Barker, I can't support his ass anymore. No, I'm not supporting his ass for, uh, for his uh for the his, euthanizing uh, all those animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, the, the money that he paid to PETA to euthanize. Yeah, for a donation. For a donation, yeah. So big. Yeah, exactly. Innocent animals, no reason to kill them. Um, just stupid shit. That's yeah, one thing I got to say. We're learning a lot. He, he was he was all for the whole PETA act. So why yeah. do you think at every Every time at the end of his show, he says, "You uh, please remember to spay it." Yeah, yeah, yeah please remember to euthanize your, your cat. Yeah, put put your uh, your animals to sleep. Yeah, don't forget the kitty. Don't forget the kitty cat. Don't forget the kitty cat. Don't forget to kill your cat. That's too funny, dude. <laughs> well, it's not funny, but it's funny. He's, it's funny. No, it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Monkey ball, a couple days, brother. Monkey ball is coming up. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, so I'll be there with a the video camera. I'll be videotaping as much as I possibly can, getting a lot of documentary about it. I really don't know what to expect. Um, no, nah, neither do I. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's off the property of uh, the GW Zoological Park. Um, mm. I think it's at the community center in town here. Cool. Um, yeah, join we us. We shouldn't have a problem setting up there and broadcasting from it either. No, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think there'll be a problem at all. With that. No, no, I definitely want to do so. We're going to probably, if I can set it up, I'd like to broadcast the whole event live. I know they're going to be streaming live video via Skype, um, yeah. which wouldn't have been my first choice, but it is what it is. There's so many other better broadcasters out there. It's all right. Whatever works for them. No, I know. Uh, I'm not. It, yeah. It, hey, listen. I'm not. For, I'm not beating know. anybody up for what they do. I'm just, you know, um, this is talk shit radio, man. You know, I'm talking shit. You know, I'm talking shit. I would not do thing. I wouldn't stream over Skype. I just wouldn't do it. You okay. know, um, just because I know what I can do with Skype. I actually never used Skype before. Skype's dangerous, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Skype's well, I, dangerous. A, a lot of people are hacking into accounts and you know calling up their uh, their friends and fucking with them. Um, Skype is a porthole to let somebody like me into your computer because mm -hmm. it's an open connection on the internet. Um, I, I mean, without going through a streaming service, Skype is just an open hole for anybody they want to come into your computer. And all you need is a microwave transmitter and microwave receiver. And I can pinpoint your signal and I can get in. So that's one of the reasons. I, I, I have bad experiences with Skype. I got viruses and all sorts of shit. So that was the end of that. Yeah, I never used Skype. It's all right. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, it's, it was nice when we lived in New York and we'd Skype Michelle's grandparents down yeah. in Florida. Yeah. It was cool. But then again, I didn't know about any of the when other I used to have video an iPhone, broadcasting. When I used to have an iPhone, I always used FaceTime. I love FaceTime. Uh, that's that's a really safe yeah. you know outlet to to talk to people. Over. Yeah, because it's only on the Apple network. It's only on the Apple network. It's only on your cell phone. You're not you're not using your IP address or anything like right. that. You can be abroad and use it. Yeah, exactly. Um, if anybody wants to uh, come on, come on it. Come on it. What are we coming on? I I, I don't know. Uh, Doug, uh, Gary, what 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 are we coming on? Gary, yeah. Gary, explain what, what, that one. What, what, what are we, what coming, are we coming on? on? You tell me what to come on. I'll go come on it. Usually it goes down the toilet. <laughs> it's crazy. Toilet. My daughter's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not that this is anything new to her. You know what I mean? <laughs> My virgin ears. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> we actually um uh, listened to a. Um, song that Joe. Uh, oh yeah, we had that. I got it queued up. Video. Um, yeah, you want to get that it? up? Because yeah, uh, I really enjoy that video. I was watching the producers over here. Uh, cut Skype it up. me, he said. <laughs> oh, come on it. Yeah. Um, I, I I was actually watching the producers. You know, do the final touches yesterday for the video. Um, the video was great. Um, the she, the the person that actually produced um the the editing for it. Um, she she's a really hard worker. Um. Kaylin actually is one of Joe's uh, producers over here um, for his TV show, and she really did a good job on the uh, on the video itself. Um, she did it only in two days, actually, um, so she really put the metal, pedal to the metal over there. Um, this this production crew it knows what they're doing over here with all the videos that they have. You gotta you gotta realize Joe Exotic, he has 
over sixty thousand dollars, uh, sixty thousand uh, hours of footage for him to chop up for his TV show, and, and it's awesome because he probably he, he probably thinks that every single thing that goes on in this park is really valuable for people to see, and, and it is because it's just to see what's going on in this in this park is amazing, and how many people are involved helping out. Yeah, the behind the scenes footage really gives you an idea of what's going on. No, yeah, you know, it is. That's for sure. All right, so I got this video queued up right now, so let's go ahead and see if this will actually work. So. It's actually a really, really good song. It is. It is a really good song. That was I Can't Believe This Feeling. Taking our microphone. Sorry about that, people. We're still good. Yeah, that is a lot better. You had a cut off. Oh, that was it? Okay. Yeah. Testing one, two. Oh, we're still on. What are you talking about? You're sitting there getting me all scared. Oh, my God. The broadcast just got, 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 got uh, dumped. No, I know what it was. I shut my fucking microphone off. My thumb hit the power button on my microphone. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. So, panic. Panic set. Panic attack. Yeah, panic yeah, set. In. We're going to put that up on uh, Facebook uh, and share it as much as possible because that's a great song. Yeah, the video is really, really cool. And, and they put together that video in three days. So, it... Very, very well, well done for the <laughs> for, for the production crew today. Uh, yes, as you fancy it, says, yeah, I didn't come in. <laughs> My little wise ass girl. <laughs> <laughs> you little sassy pants. That is why she is called DJ Sassy Pants. But if someone breaks in, uh, what you're going to tell the person who robbed you and wait, hold on, let me get my gun so I can shoot you. She's talking about the the gun, you know, with the trigger lock and all of that. Oh. Um, honey, I, you yeah. know. <laughs> That's exactly what you're gonna do. I'm I'm really not worried about anyone breaking into my house and defending myself. Yeah. Um, because back home I, I left my lo doors unlocked because my neighborhood was so good, no one was gonna come in there and rob me. Right. Um, I I encouraged intruders actually up in New York. Um, before I became a felon, when I had firearms, I I, I would just let them in my house if if they wanted to come into my house. Go ahead, you you're not gonna walk out. Yeah, yeah. If you're stupid enough to come in my house, then you're done for. <laughs> Travis is back. Isn't it? Hey, strong. is it cold out there? You look cold, buddy. Woo! It's around 15 degrees out there. You're loving it. You must be used to this weather, though. I'm not used to this weather, actually. Yeah. I'm. You're not used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm not, not at all. You have the microphone. I'm cheat. I always cheat. Right. Oh, so you're over reverb and that. No, because my, my face was all the way up to my microphone. That was why. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> I don't know what that was about. Me. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not used to this at all, brother. Not at all. Well, you, you're probably used to it more than I am. I, I'm not worried. Yesterday, I was walking around in a sweatshirt, maybe two sweatshirts at the time. Yeah, you're um, crazy. This morning when I woke up, I had a little headache, so... Uh, uh, Whoops. Uh, Joe Exotic's playing again. Yeah, he pushed the wrong button over I, there. I always do that. I got that headache. Um, but it should warm up a little bit over here today, um, around... 12 o'clock, it says uh, it's going to be 40 degrees out. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a nice heat wave over here from what they had. <laughs> that's a heat wave? Yeah, that's a heat wave for them right now. Yikes. So here we go. Police, St. Pete. Uh, St. Pete woman and son jump from window in suicide attempt. Holy attempt? shit. Attempt? Attempt? They, they, didn't, they didn't die? Ugh. Fucking ridiculous. Well, now they just realize something else they're not good at. Yeah, right? <laughs> now it's all more of a reason to try to kill yourself again. Exactly. So it, uh, the main captain says the St. Pete mother and son were injured after she forced him out a second story window at gunpoint and then jumped out herself. Now, did she survive? 
I hope so. Now, and I hope, I hope she, she survived, and jail. now she's going to be charged yep. with friggin' child abuse. Yep, absolutely. So the Forcing story... the little kid out the window at, at gunpoint. gunpoint. Fucking ridiculous. The story goes on to say that St. Pete mother and son were injured after she forced him out a second story window at gunpoint and then jumped herself, police said. According to the police, the incident happened in an apartment building in the 300 block of the 7th Avenue, of 7th Avenue North. Police said the distraught mother forced her 8-year-old boy to jump out a window by pointing a shotgun at the child. She then jumped out the window also. Injury, injuries to both are considered non-life-threatening, according to the police. Non-life-threatening. So after her legs are healed... She's going to go to jail, and she's going to rot there. Yeah. Uh, Bay, News 9's, Bay News 9's got a crew on their way now. So this is, this is just now breaking at 826. So we'll, we'll see if we can. Uh, I wonder when she uh, forced her child outside the window. These people who shouldn't. Crazy people, people who are crazy. This is as bad as John John Chuck case with Phoebe uh, getting thrown yeah. off the freaking bridge over there. Yeah. And, and these, these parents should not be parents. It's, I can't believe, you know, China had a right idea. Population control, you're only allowed 3.2 kids, that kind of thing. You know, um, I do believe that uh, there should be a, a process that you have to go through to see if you're mentally st stable enough to have a child. Well, now, at that point, when she goes into court, she's going to plead uh, uh, the mental plead, mental insanity. Probably. Yeah. Um, she's going to be brought to a facility and she's going to be checked out. Just like John John Chuck, because he's probably still in the ward right now. Mm -hmm. But and I she's think that literally going to get away with murder. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to be in a friggin' hospital mm -hmm. for the rest of his life, not behind behind bars. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So here is some good news um, pertaining to where we're at and what we're doing with Joe Exotic here, and it says, and this is the main headline. Um, it says Ringling Brothers Circus. Ends elephant acts. So I think uh, I think that's going to be pretty interesting. It says here it goes on to read: Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus will phase out the show icon the show's iconic elephants from its performance by 2018. Uh, telling the Associated Press exclusively that growing public concern about how the animals are treated led to the decision. Uh, we we spoke to somebody. We spoke to somebody um, back when we had for the love of animals. I actually did the yes. interview, um, and it's despicable what they do to these animals to train them. Um, yeah. th there's something called a bull hook. Everyone's probably seen one. They just don't know what I'm talking about. But if you see, it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They rip these bulls, these these elephants around with this bull hook behind the ear to get them to train. They stick them with the with the point of it yeah. just to do what they want them to do. When you see that the, the elephant trainer tapping the elephant with the thing to make them walk, that elephant's doing it out of complete and utter fear of rea retaliation of what this fucking guy's going to do to them. And, and it starts when they're really, really young. Yeah, like, they rip them away from their mother, they, they, right? Yeah, they take them away from their mother for them to perform for the, the profit of the circus, yeah. whatever circus they're, they're, they're involved in. I've never liked circuses. My father drove for the circus. Um, I, I never, you know, I got to see some shit that you really don't want to see. So that people <laughs> don't realize what's happening behind the scenes, and this no, is exactly this yeah. is exactly why they're taking the elephants out of their act. Right. It shouldn't happen for another couple of years, though. I'm reading it says uh, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. They're gonna phase it out completely. So, so uh, here's another one. Dog survives being shot. And tie, uh, shot and tied to the train tracks. This is all Tampa people. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, so dog survives being shot, tied to train tracks, but alive. It's like the zombie cat. Now yeah, someone's like, going to want this dog because uh, uh, of the publicity it has. Yeah, you know, and that's another thing. It needs a loving home. Thing. Yeah, it needs a loving home, but it needs a loving home to where they're not going to exploit the fucking animal. Yeah. You know, that really bothers me. Um, Tampa police are asking the public for information leading to a person who shot a dog three times and try, tied the animal to train tracks. Approximately 5.23 p.m. Wednesday, officers responded to three separate calls involving shots fired in the Sulphur Springs area. Approximately 100 feet north of Eskimo Drive, the responding officer observed one, a one to two year old female mixed breed pit bull tied to the railroad tracks with a belt. 
the dog named Cabela, uh, by officers, was shot twice in the neck, uh, above the right shoulder, but was alive. Two other officers walked to free Caleb, Caleba, whatever. Caleb? Yeah, from the railroad tracks, then rushed her to the Tampa Bay Veterans Emergency Clinic. Um, she will eventually need to have her right front leg amputated. Police have no leads in the case and are asking for public information. What was the owner thinking? That the gunshots weren't going to kill it, so let's put it on the railroad track just to finish the job? I got a fucking chill down my spine over that one, dude. Chill. That bothers the fucking hell out of me. I'd love to find this guy and shoot him in the balls. And tie him to a railroad track. To the fucking you know, railroad track. You know, like the old cartoons where the freaking guy with the long um, uh, handlebar mustache yeah. got, got the damsel in distress. <laughs> yeah. Catch that pigeon. Catch that pigeon. Catch that pigeon now. I actually have that bit. What pigeon? You never had Dastardly and Muttley. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I have that bit. It's what loaded. Pigeon? Yeah, well, you know. I hate pigeons. Fucking dirty man. I like pigeons. Fuckers. I like pigeons. Pigeons. Nasty they're, they're pretty smart. Nasty disease carrying animals. They're pretty smart for an animal. <laughs> for a bird. For a bird. For a bird. For, for having a brain the size of a pea or smaller. Yeah. They used to use carrier pigeons for war. Yeah. And that was very useful in our uh in our World War Two. Until we learned what a sniper was. It's snipers back then also. Yeah. You can't send messages through a sniper. Um, well, you can. If the general's standing next to you and you snipe him and blow his fucking head off, that sends quite a message. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so what else we got? Uh, let's see. Reporter conquers new thrill slide. Colossal curl. Huh? 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 This is all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> little vomit. That's how I felt this morning. Yeah? I actually went outside and puked my guts. I know, I saw you. I gotta stop smoking. Speaking of which, let me light another cigarette. Yeah. I need to stop smoking. I, I, I need to quit. Oh, wait, the cigarette's Give right here. Cigarettes. <laughs> Angie, you're gonna kick my ass, honey. I'm, I am sorry. I'm smoking like a fiend. The vape I'm, pen? Yeah. The, va the vape pen shot. Vape pen ain't working. It's not enough nicotine in that fucking thing. No, I, I don't I have like to just pen, drink no. the fucking the, the liquid, the, the liquid in order liquid to get my Oh, jeez, that would be nasty. Oh, you think you were fro throwing up? It was bad this morning. Uh, How about you drink a little bit of that shit? Uh, I can't even imagine just getting it in my mouth to to see what it tastes like. It's probably horrible. <laughs> I'll get something in your mouth. Easy, easy. <laughs> Um, my mouth is exit only, uh, you know, because I always have aspidasis of the mouth. Is, you know it, is, is it only? Is it exit only? Oh, exit only. I spit a lot of shit, buddy. <laughs> I spit a lot of shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ex teacher. Uh, let's I'm take so. a commercial break. What do you say? Yeah, that's fine. Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We really appreciate everybody listening. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and uh, we'll be right back. You know what I think it is right now? I think it's the fucking weather. If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPO plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-296-0906. 800-296-0906. 800-296-0906. That's 800-296-0906. You're struggling with your mortgage. You think about it. You don't do anything but think about it. What are we going to do if we lose the house? Where are we going to go? At work. I can't let anybody find out. I'm so embarrassed. At dinner. How can I tell the kids? It's going to wreck their lives. And at 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get through this. What's going to happen to us? It's time to stop thinking. It's time to start dialing. 
Call 1-888-995-HOPE for a free government program that offers expert one-on-one advice about your mortgage options. I'm all alone. No, you're not. We've helped over a million homeowners, and we want to help you. And now there are more ways to help. Call 1-888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. Attention small business owners. Growing your business can be tough. Just when you thought you were making money, you found out that you owe the government money. And now that you owe the IRS their cut of your business profits, you may be broke. And if you don't take things seriously, you could go to jail or have your business shut down. But you do have an option. If the IRS is threatening you for unpaid taxes, call the Tax Resources Network. Their tax professionals and ex-IRS agents have over 23 years of experience dealing with the IRS, saving business owners and the self-employed millions in tax dollars. Let us negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. We may be able to reduce your tax debt for a lot less than you owe, help with the IRS audit, and even criminal investigations. If your business owes the IRS $15,000 or more and the IRS is threatening you, don't wait and let your business get shut down or worse. Call for a free consultation. Call 800-917-1799. 800-917-1799. That's 800-917-1799. Again, 800-917-1799. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world-loving animals. Hey, we're back. Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. Thanks for uh, sticking with us and tuning into the show. Um, we're over here at uh, GW Zoo in Oklahoma, Winniewood, Oklahoma. Winniewood. I kept on saying Winewood. So did I. I kept on saying Winewood. Winewood. That that's what it looks like. It's, yeah. How it's spelled. Yeah, it did. And then I had to wait for Joe to he- you know to hear it on Joe's, some of Joe's commercials yes, yes. in order to get the right pronunciation. Uh, I was saying it wrong. Even when I, I was watching Even Joe's when you shows. were correcting me, you were saying it wrong. Yeah, even when you were, you, you were saying Winniewood, I was like, I think it's Winewood. You're like, no, I think it's Winniewood. And I'm like, no, it's Winewood. So uh, when I get here and I actually started listening, you know, to Everybody some people saying Winnie Winnie Winniewood, I'm like, oh, shit, I have been saying it wrong. Oh, Jesus. I've been saying it on the air. All friggin' week, all month I was saying it. And people out there were probably like, yo, this guy doesn't know where we are. <laughs> yeah, right? They're probably like, does he even know what fucking does, town he's in? Does he know how to read? <laughs> no, I'm dyslexic. No, I'm dyslexic. I do 53 and a 35. Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fucked up. Too soon? <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. Uh, Frank and Beats. Frank and Beans. Frank and Beans. I got a story that Go comes ahead. out of Southern California. Let's hear it. A teacher, 31 years of age, I love it already. was found hanging Ugh. in her classroom. I thought she was having sex with um, the kids. Students discovered her uh, arriving. Arriving students at the high school found Jillian uh, Jacobson's classroom door locked. Um, she was late and went next door to get the teacher who returned with them to open the door. Jacobson was found hanging from the ceiling. Two school staff members got Jacobson down and called police. Now, if you take down someone, you know, from hanging from a rafter or whatever it is, is that like tampering with evidence? Because now they think that she hung herself, but they were just trying to help her? I do know that when I drove a tow truck, the few times that I did go out to circumstances like that, I can't say it a few times. There was one. One in particular, I got a phone call from my dispatcher that told me I needed to meet them out at Bayport. And you know where Bayport know is? Bayport. Okay. So I go out there, and she tells me, look, Lou, when you get out there, just load the car and don't ask questions and don't touch nothing. Mm-hmm. So right then and That's there. That's what I always think. That's yeah. exactly what, like, if you see a, 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 a someone hanging, I know you, you're going to try to help them out, try to right. get them down and stuff yep. like that, but... The police would inform you, say, don't touch. Good morning, Bob. Thank you for joining us Good in morning, the chat. Bob Steele. Thank you we for joining us. We are live from the GW Zoo right now in Joe Exotic TV studio, um, broadcasting talk shit 
radio. It's been a little rough. We did want to do a lot of uh, talk shit TV here, um, but uh, the weather is cold. The equipment don't like it, and um, neither do I. <laughs> and neither do I. He says, I don't, like, I don't want to be outside more than five minutes, man. The, the place cold we wanted here. to broadcast from is an elevated tower. Yeah. So it, you it, know it's going to be frigid up in it, that It's about 20 bucket. feet up in the air. Yeah. Even yesterday when we went up there and we wanted to scope it out. That was cool, though. It, it, the wind is so brutal down here. It cuts through you like fucking butter. And I got a real problem with stairs that have openness to them. I'm really... I, it's a bad I, I phobia of mine. I, I don't mind stairs. I, mean, I don't know what it is, bro. If they were made height, of the a great... situation? No, I'm not afraid of... I am afraid of heights, but I'm not afraid... Like, all right, how can I put this? I'm afraid to go up... And look up at heights and, you know... And look down on heights? It's weird, bro, because when I was in Salt Lake City, Utah, yeah, I was running around on scaffolding 27 stories in the air, rappelling down the side of the one side no of the building. No problem at all. No fear, no problem, like a, a maniac. Yes. If that harness, God for big, big breaks. I had a security harness on. I would have oh, dropped okay. about 60 oh. foot, and that was it. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, but at the end of the job, when the building was all done, we had to seal it in. We had to caulk everything. Mm -hmm. So the scaffolding guys had already started taking down the scaffolding on one edge of the building, mm -hmm. and we were missing about three feet of the scaffolding, and we needed to caulk one edge of the window. So you're sitting there reaching over the side of the scaffolding, I did trying worse. to get that cock gun out there. And I did worse. What? I took one of my glass suction cups, uh -huh. suction cupped it to the glass, put my foot on it, Took another suction cup, suction cupped it to the glass, grabbed hold of it, and then stepped out. And onto what it. shuffled across? I stepped out onto it and stood there, twenty-seven stories in the air, standing on a suction cup, with one hand on the caulking gun, caulking this window, and the other hand holding on to the other suction cup. I uh, caulked it, and off we went. Um, Janet, Harry, lost you guys. What lost you? us? We're right here. We didn't go anywhere. We're right here. We're sweetie. right here. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. We're right here. Yeah, Janet, I appreciate you coming into the chat. Um, it might be your internet connection. I know we're we're we're, hey, we're, hard, we're broadcasting. Yeah. We're up and live, right? Yeah, now. we're we're broadcasting. There's, there's, there's no glitches over here. <laughs> no, none whatsoever. We've got a uh, great signal. All my numbers look good. So it might be your internet connection, Janet. I would go ahead and just check that. Um, I'm broadcasting. We've got zero. Zero computer usage, zero memory usage. My net ping is really, really gorgeous, and the uplink speed is at 11 kilobytes a second. So that my, tells my me nothing. My net ping is very, very gorgeous. My net Fuck ping is sexy. gorgeous. It's sexy. gorgeous. We're coming through great. <laughs> Got oh. such a gorgeous net net ping. Whoa. Whoa. Boy, back to the story that I was talking about. This teacher. Uh, hanging herself in a classroom. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, let me finish what I was saying, uh, because uh, and well, because it, it okay. comes back to it comes back to what we were talking about with the whole um, don't touch the body and all of that. Exactly. When I got there to the scene in the tow truck, the body was still hanging in the fucking tree. Mm -hmm. now, I had to back up to the car and then I flip on my floodlights. I don't see it at first mm -hmm. until those floodlights come on and I light up the whole fucking scene. And there's this body with a neck. That looks about eight inches longer than it was. Why? Because you stretched the fuck out? It was amazing looking. So now i got to try and load this car and not touch anything. How do you do that? Uh, How do you get in the car and put it in neutral and not touch anything? I, I don't it know. wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have any idea how to do that. Well, that, was, uh, that was my... Uh, but now, wouldn't the police say, don't touch the body? I mean, they should have called police... First, af uh, before trying to take her down and reviving that her. would be my first thing that, to that, do. Yeah. That would be my first thing, uh, thought yeah. to do. But um, paramedics did come; they couldn't revive her, so yeah. she died on scene. Or Shannon, that that, that is dead. definitely probably your internet connection. Sometimes it'll do that; it'll skip, but it'll pick up right where it left off. So you didn't miss anything. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't miss anything. Nah. We were just talking about a story about a teacher in California yeah, herself. Yeah. yeah. So um, and that that must be a little shocking and, and scarring for the children, you know, who walked. In and saw oh, that. Oh God, I couldn't imagine. Uh, I have a friend actually um, who went to a uh, graduation party, and, and she's my neighbor down in Florida, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, she went to a graduation party, and one of her friends was uh, dating this one kid who was invited to the party. But th this this friend of hers had a had a new boyfriend. So in the middle of the party, 
the kid pulls out a gun and blows his brains out in front of a hundred, hundred, oh hundred kids God. about to graduate. And, and she said that she needed therapy for a while after that. And I can understand that because that, that that's a hard scene too to yeah. watch. Yeah. So when someone just putting a gun in their mouth and blowing their brains out in, in, in front of a lot of kids. That's crazy, dude. That. Ah, oh man, I don't know. That would fuck me up, dude. Bad. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I would be able to get over that. Nah. Uh, that would stick with me forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That would be a bad situation. That's something you can never... Just like uh, that, that video, what the hell is it? Uh, two girls in a cup or whatever the fuck it is. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee that shit. Yeah. It is nasty. Two girls in one cup. Two girls in one I cup, whatever. I couldn't even finish the friggin' video. I saw yeah. about 30 seconds of it. And Joseph it Balga was the one who put that on and showed it to me. Um, you want to talk about disgusting? That fucking... Yeah, hey, you, you've seen all the friggin' videos about the reactions to people watching that video? No. Yeah, no. I, I, I looked at Joseph instantly. I'm like, dude, is this the kind of shit that you watch? Is this your new fetish? Yeah, I was disgusted Two by Two girls it. friggin' shitting in a cup and eating it? Yeah, it put a little whipped cream on it and a cherry? It was nasty. I believe it's peanut butter. I always said it. Uh, it's they packed peanut, peanut butter. butter in her ass. I, it they they, look they went cleansed Peanut butter and Nutella? Bleached her ass. Uh, you packed peanut butter in there. Yeah, you can clean your ass. It's like colonic, I think it's called. Yeah. And and uh, pack peanut butter in the ass so they can make this video so then it can go viral and ha have people talk about it like we're talking about it. It's gross. You can pack... Uh, look at it this way. It, it, he knows it, all about packing shit in his ass. Not mine. <laughs> I, I know about packing a lot of stuff in other, other people's asses. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> You're in good company, buddy. <laughs> but wouldn't that be the greatest idea in the world? Is look instead of packing peanut butter in somebody's ass, you know, getting getting their ass clean, packing milk into it. No, you know what At I want to see? Making a milkshake that looks like shit. Fluff. Peanut butter fluff. Fluff. Or just marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow fluff. It comes out all nice and gloopy. Yeah, you want to impress me? Pack your ass full of some marshmallow fluff and videotape that. That would be a video. I heard a story um, back when I was in that New York. So uh, gross. <laughs> you know, this is fucking gross, I'll tell you. There was a story out in New York, or, or my friend told me this. Um, he, his cousin or his friend... We're about to lose half our listeners. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, yeah, probably from this friggin' story. My, my, my friend's friend of a friend of a friend, not me. His cousin's uncle, sister's aunt's nephew. Exactly. <laughs> um, he, he was having sex with his girlfriend. Didn't have any lube. Thank God it was his girlfriend. D didn't have any lube, so supposedly they, they used whipped cream, you know, to, to lube, up, lube up her vaginal area and stick it in easily. Well, weeks after this had happened, she started having maggots come out of her fucking pussy. Uh, and it was probably because of how rotted it was inside of her pussy. Uh, the whipped cream. I don't know if it's a true story or not, but uh, that made me cringe. I think I might have to go back outside and vomit real quick. God. That's nasty, bro. Yeah, go go vomit. Talk about Mary Rotten Crotch. Oh, my God. I bet that girl wouldn't have sex with that guy again. I bet you not too many dudes had sex with that girl after that one. <laughs> when I first moved down here, there was this uh, girl, and I won't mention any names, Diane. Um, they called her guacamole dip. And it was... What? Why? Because it was nice and raunchy like it? No, there was Holy green dip. shit coming out of her vagina. Ew. Yeah, so we called her guac. And she could never understand what it was. <laughs> she had some boogers hanging out of her pussy. Dude, it she was had nasty. Her, she had a blower pussy. Listen, when the dude told us about it, it was my buddy Kevin's brother, um, when he told us about it, he's like, yeah, so I started naming her guacamole dip. <laughs> and just how a cream come with that? Yeah, exactly, bro. I, a know, I, oh, that would have been a great comeback. So with that guacamole, did you make homemade sour cream? <laughs> 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 and in other news, putting guacamole on their taco. <laughs> In their taco. In their taco. Uh, I got a taco for you with some guacamole and yeah, sour that, cream, that, buddy. That's, that's nasty. <laughs> that is pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty. That's, that, you're so gross. You're so gross. You're going straight to hell for that one. Let's see what the chat has to say. They're probably agreeing with that. No, they're not agreeing with nothing. They think it's fucking gross and everyone's puking over there. We, we just lost all <laughs> of our listeners. We just lost our whole audience. We just, we just lost all of our listeners. Are you guys gay? Um, Janet Harry just asked us if we're gay. Do we sound right. like it? Uh, um, I'll give you a one-word answer. No. Can't say it any better. 
I'm. Um, he can't speak for me though. No, I'm straight. No, he's he's gay, but um, in a in happy, a happy way. Yes, in a happy way. Yeah, I'm always happy. Actually, you know what? I could say I'm gay too then. Because I'm a happy-go-lucky motherfucker right now. I, I've been gay since we got here. <laughs> happy as a pig and shit, buddy. That's one thing you guys don't have, is it, Travis? Is pigs. You got pigs? Oh, we're going to see the pigs today. We didn't go in the back. Oh, that's right. Yesterday, I didn't go in the back of the, of the park. We just went in the I front. I was afraid to, because it was fences that were closed, and I didn't want to go past them. Yeah, I, I didn't want to I, go. I don't want to go anywhere where I'm going to get eaten, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm walking into a, a tiger cage And then turn there. around and go, it, says, uh, it says employees only. Yeah, and, and I think we might be in the wrong place, buddy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> turn I, around, and you're looking at a 400-pound Bengal tiger looking at you, licking his chops, going, yep. You're in the wrong I, place. I, I think we read the sign different. It says employees <laughs> only. Do not do not enter. Well, do not fucking enter. Janet Harry just said that I know somebody who would pack your ass. Oh, I, I, I know a couple Joe. people. Good morning, Joe. How are you, sir? Good morning, Joe. Just walked into the studio. Yeah, we got Joe Exotic. You got to flip that on. You're looking chipper today. I think it's on. I just turned 29 today. Yeah, I know. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Did you get my post? <laughs> Did I get your post? Yeah. Hell, I just got done beating off in the shower. <laughs> I'm not like got I didn't it. check no post. I gave myself nothing. a birthday present. Oh. I was in the shower. I started playing with it. I checked to see gloves. if I had a mess on my lap so I can go out, and that was about it. And you, you got to do it in the shower, so you don't have to wipe up after. Exactly. <laughs> you just let it drain. I can't do it in the shower. Like, it's too fucking hot. No, see, I had a problem like one time. Like my little day, JJ. <laughs> no, I, see, I had a problem one time. <laughs> One time, I, I was in the shower, and I, I, I was jerking off. And uh, Stupid me, I didn't rinse my body off with some soap, so I, it, it stung it, right after. Oh, oh, I man. made the wrong mistake of Oof. jerking off in the shower. You gotta Oof. hate it when it gets all crusty, and you don't... Uh, <laughs> wake, wake up the next day, and it's still on your stomach. Your You're like, what the fuck is that? Like, am, I am I peeling? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is that extra skin? Oh, no, that's last night. I got in the room, and it all went to shit, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we started going to shit. Before we were talking about um, what we were talking about, two oh, girls, yeah, two one girls, cup. one cup. We were talking about two girls, one cup, and, ah. and, and how that was made. And so, I, have, I have the theory that they cleaned their ass off and packed in peanut butter to. You know, I, I couldn't see girls licking shit. So um, I, I, I don't know how. Many yeah, I mean, if you yeah, watch the video, you could see girls licking shit. Yeah, you, you, know, you know, Rinky has no legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you met Rinky yeah, for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you got to Google two men in a stump. Do I want to? Yeah. Really? Uh, is that his video? You would never look at Rinky the same again. No. It's not his video, but you'd never look at okay. Rinky. Oh, okay, I was going to say. Don't <laughs> tell me I, that, I, dude. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. We're getting, we're getting it pulled up. We here. got Travis over there in the <laughs> so background. He's it up. He's he's it up. Like, I know this video. <laughs> <laughs> again, we are sitting at uh, in uh, the GW Zoo with Joe Exotic, sitting in his studio, <laughs> JoeExoticTV.com, uh, broadcasting Talk Shit Radio Live, and it is absolutely my pleasure to be here, man. Oh, my I'm, God. I'm, it is, like, so bright this morning. You can't, oh, can't even... Compared to yesterday, snow, yeah, I know. Sunglasses out there. The sun's not even out yet. Yeah, compared to yesterday, it's night and day, literally. I mean... Let's all be gone by noon. How, how, how quickly the weather changes over here. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Just like the day we were talking about earlier. The day that we got here was 60 degrees. The next yeah. day, it was fucking below freezing. <laughs> yeah, I can't even walk from here to your house without freezing my nuts off, Joe. Yeah, I'll well, be honest with you. It will all be gone by noon, so we're going to have to get Timmy out there and sledding pretty quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we got to get out there right after the show. I'm going to go sledding. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to go. Big old smile on Travis's face. He's like, got the video. <laughs> he's, he's got, got the, video. the video and he's smiling, so that's yeah, very disturbing. You have to turn the microphones off for a minute. <laughs> Timmy's going to scream. Timmy, Timmy's all right, scream. let me see. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh Look my at, God! Lewis speech. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, can I just explain something? Oh my God! <laughs> when you said two guys in a stump, <laughs> that was not the stump I was thinking you were. No, I was referring was, to. I, I, I'll I be honest that. with you. I was thinking that. <laughs> and you're right. I didn't. I think, will never look at Ricky again. I, I, I didn't know. Think he was going to be shooting a freaking leg in there. <laughs> I know a guy and a, and a lady down in Tampa probably have sex like that. Oh no! <laughs> I, see, see, after the fact. See, that's Shit sells, buddy. <laughs> when, when, when his asshole is open like that, does the shit just drop out when he's walking? I always wondered about that. I mean, um, like after a woman's vagina gets so freaking beat up and tore up, I mean, do you just like have a problem holding things in? I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. Does the baby just like fall out at some point? It's like, oh shit, here it goes. See, that, that's what I always wondered. I, I always wondered if girls do get stretched out because I've heard it many, many times before. Girls get stretched oh, out they after do. they have natural no birth. It's true. It is true. 
Oh yeah, but it's that like a rubber band. A, It'll go back. <laughs> that would be a biology biology class I did not take. <laughs> <laughs> That's anatomy. So skipped that. on that one. I was out on that I one. Out so on I'm out. I know like, what I need to I'm, know. I'm I'm out out here. Here. I got to go to earth science. I'm out of biology. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I'm going to learn about some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Easy with the rocks, yeah, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed that part of the class. <laughs> That's too funny, man. <laughs> too funny. So this morning, the tiger outside the house, um, right out your front door. Every day, right out has, the front door. Right out the front door. Yeah, it's really right amazing because you look out the front window and there he is staring at you, going, "Come here, you." You think you got <laughs> guard, you, you think you got guard dogs out there? This guy's got a fucking tiger, <laughs> about five hundred pounds, no less. So this morning, you know, the big part of the fence where he can stand up and stick. You know, he got the big squares. Right. So he takes his paw and he sticks it out like that. <laughs> and I put my paw on, on my paw. I, put yeah, my I got paw, my paw. I put my paw yeah. on, on top of his paw. And, and I was real it's quick like, about it because I figured those spikes would come up and, and no. gash me. Not a bit. No. He curled his paw and like held my hand. And then took and his hand like, and rubbed up on the case. it's like five I mean, times the size. It Unbelievable. <laughs> the first thing I did was grab it and squeeze the, the thing where the claws are to see the them sons of bitches are huge. Okay. That thing is like, did you see the size of his claws? No, it's no, a good I two inches like long when it comes in and rolls out. <laughs> I was looking at the size of the friggin' uh, bear's claws yesterday. Oh, oh that was, God, was like three, four inches long. That is wicked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. now Rip it makes open. sense. Yeah, now it makes sense when you see the videos of the hunters and the tree is just <laughs> tore apart. Mm -hmm. It's like payback. Oh shit! Now, <laughs> yeah, now, now I know why hunters are are you know up in Alaska. Bears are all over. So are they're terrified. They're always yeah. on alert to make sure that there's no bears around there. Yeah. You know, when they're walking, when they're hiking, they make noises so then they can you know not startle the bear to attack. Fuck that. Now you know why I don't like going hunting. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything else out there is doing the same thing you're doing. Hunting you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you become the prey at that point. Yeah, go, animals. <laughs> go animals. Yeah. Speaking of go animals, I read a story this morning, Joe, that really was disturbing out of Tampa. A um, pair of assholes shot, well, a asshole or a pair of assholes shot a pit bull twice. Um, once in the neck, once in the shoulder. The dog didn't die, and then they tied it to the fucking railroad tracks to leave it there to die. Uh, I, I would love to find these fuckers, and I told Timmy I'd shoot them twice in the nuts and then tie them to the damn train An track. eye for a fucking eye. That's yeah. what I believe People will suck. suck. It's People disgusting suck. what they do to animals, it man. Is, it is yeah. very disgusting. And Florida, I got to tell you, Florida is so bad with that shit. So bad. It's, there's never a day that goes by in the news that somebody hasn't done there's something an to an animal. An animal like yeah, that's yep, crazy. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just pathetic. But uh, and, then on, and then on the news this morning, on the on the local news here, you know, they're wanting to move uh, some elephants from Woodland Park to Oklahoma City Zoo mm -hmm. because Oklahoma City Zoo has has got the top notch facility to house reserve for them. And when you know, oh, Bob Barker is on TV yeah. throwing a fit, wanting them to go to his. Uh, Little why so he can use it? You, why so he there, can kill him out there in yeah. California? Yeah. So that so way go they there can and kill say him? they should not be in the captivity anymore. So let's just make them extinct. Right? I don't get it. Yeah, no. I, I, well, we were reading an article this morning about Ringling Bro Brothers and Barnum Bailey releasing in, their animals. They're going to stop using elephants in 2018 because of the the controversy and everything that's going on. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And yep. So they're going to put on a preserve morning. actually in Florida that's 200 acres. Oh yeah. 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 They, they build a huge preserve down there. Yeah. But, you know, they will still continue to breed the species uh, in order to keep them from becoming keep, extinct. Keep the yeah. population going. Where yeah, definitely. The sanctuary in California that they want to send these elephants to is against breeding because they want them to perish off. The now, is there laws in some states that you can't breed certain animals? No. Or everybody is entitled to it if they... if As long as you're licensed by the United States Department of Agriculture, yeah. uh, you are allowed to. You're allowed to. And that confuses me. Why is the Department of Agriculture um, in charge and... and, and of regulating and regulating, you know who and what with the animals. Wouldn't that be uh, uh, fish and game, wildlife no, conservation well, you know, or something? It, it's really confusing because there, there's some congressmen that are pretty upset with the United States Department of Agriculture because they don't play by the same rule book for everybody. You know, it's it's overpower on this guy and it's underpower on this guy. Mm -hmm. So they're catching a lot of shit there. But you know, fish and wildlife. 
like the state of Oklahoma, our game wardens don't know anything about the care of tigers and lions and stuff like that. They're know? worried about the the natural the wildlife natural animals, out there, like yes. the bobcats and yes. the lions and stuff gotcha, like that. Okay. It, it, bears, it, but there's there's really but what what aggravates me is I have an inspector come in here that has never been around these animals. A tiger yeah. Yeah, had no, no idea. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And and that's the aggravating part. You could really um, bring them in here and school the shit out of them. You really could. No, they if think they, they weren't they ignorant. They think they know what they're talking about. Yeah. Uh, well, that's I mean, they're they're the ones with the badge, so right. They, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. And they know think it. they know it all. No different yeah. than your cannabis fight down there in Florida and everything Absolutely. else. You know, everybody with badge thinks they know what the hell they're talking about. That's unfortunately the, the nature of this country. You give a man a gun and a badge and he thinks he's God. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. yep. Absolutely. Give a man it's a horrible. tiger and a gun and he thinks he's... A tiger he can. knows he's God. If you walk down certain streets with that tiger and that gun, people are going to say, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk in your front yard with a 500-pound tiger, you are oh, man. pretty close to being God. I would have to tell everybody and anybody who can get out here to uh, Winniewood, Oklahoma, to see GW Zoo and to come and visit Joe Exotic to do it. It would be, it's an experience of a lifetime, nothing you will ever, ever experience in your life. I've had all sorts of cats in my arms. I can honestly say now, I have held a baby tiger. Sitting I have, on the couch. <laughs> yeah, sitting on the couch. Let him yeah. abuse you. This morning, exactly, <laughs> right? I mean, a uh, little fucker bites. I'll be honest with you, man. But it's freaking fun watching this little son of a bitch run around the house. It is. It's nothing you'll ever experience in your life. With to be able to, dog. Yes, that is so cool. Dude. And the <laughs> yeah, and how well they get along. his ass last night. <laughs> fucking him up, going, you better know your role, motherfucker. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> in my house. <laughs> What's really incredible is being able to, like I said, walk up to the out the front door and just lean up on the cage. And he comes right up to you, he stands up, and he's like, hey, come here, come in, I want to give you a hug. And yep. It's amazing, man. It's it absolutely amazing. I can't yeah, wait to see more to park awesome today. Weekend. Yeah. I'm glad to see the sun's out, no wind, the shit's going to melt. Yeah. We are on our way to a fabulous weekend. You yeah, gonna yeah. Uh, it's going to clear up too. nicely for the weekend, definitely. We're, we're going to make sure that you get out there and kiss a grizzly bear today. Oh, I'd yeah? love to, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'd love to. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, but, hey, I'm going to go get the gates open. All right, buddy. Y'all go on with the show, and we'll be back. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. And cool. You'll no, be on no. my show tonight. Too. We'll be, we'll be on yeah, show tonight. Yeah, JoeExoticTV.com, yeah. everyone. Uh, don't forget to, to catch Joe's show, and, and you'll catch us with him. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for having us. Joe, Are have a happy me? birthday. Yes, happy birthday, sir. Um, that was Joe Exotic, everyone. Come and join us in his own studio. So that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he, he's on a home ground, uh, home field advantage over yeah. here. <laughs> Joe's got the home field advantage yeah. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking forward to the monkey ball. Um, and please, I'm begging everyone and anyone that's out there that's listening to our broadcast, if you have the extra couple dollars to donate, please do so. Um, if you don't have the extra couple of dollars to donate, at least help us swear, uh, raise the awareness. Tell people about it. Tell them we're here. Tell them what Joe does. Um, you know, show them that the fight is worth fighting for because uh, I know everybody loves animals. And if you don't love animals and you just like animals, you're still a human being. You still have a moral responsibility to save these animals. So please do me a favor. Go to Joe Exotic TV. Check it out tonight. There's links up there. If you want to donate, you can go to GWZoo.org. You can donate there. Uh, no, GWZ is it a dot org? It is dot org. Yep. yep. GWZ. And then you have the USZA.org. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> What's the Wi Fi password? I don't know. Where's this cord? I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. We are breaking Travis's balls this morning. <laughs> nah, he's enjoying it because if he didn't, if he didn't, he'd be gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he would have left already. Exactly. He would have left already. We're gonna get him on the radio one of these days eventually. Yeah, he'll jump on with yeah. us, talk some shit. We'll get him on the radio. Hey, I'm surprised he's not at home right now, friggin' uh, watching the weather report. <laughs> God, I want snow. Where's the snow? I want snow. You want the weather? Go stick your head out the door. It's fucking bright and cold. <laughs> it's fucking cold out there. It is man. cold. What is it? It's like 18 degrees now? Yeah, Holy 20 shit. Degrees. 20 degrees right now here. I'm sitting here freezing in the studio. I'm literally getting chills. I'm, I'm cold. So, But uh, it's 930, and I think we need to take another little break here. That's fine. Um, You're listening to Talk Shit Radio here live at the GW Zoo in Winniewood, Oklahoma. So um, stay tuned with us. We're going to be broadcasting all week long here. 
Um, we've got a couple of things pulled up uh, today that we're going to do, um, and we'll have more discussion about it tomorrow because this is an experience of a lifetime. So stay tuned. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. If you've had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you deal with your complications. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Our partner law firms are experts in hip replacement surgery lawsuits. Find out now if you're eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion hip settlement fund. Call now for free information. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. That's 855-586-1560. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars of pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 1-800-441-3678 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars. healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 1-800-441-3678 to take your call now call 1-800-441-3678 that's 1-800-441-3678 again 1-800-441-3678 Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom150.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 150.com. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom150.com. You're struggling with your mortgage. You think about it. You don't do anything but think about it. What are we going to do if we lose the house? Where are we going to go? At work. I can't let anybody find out. I'm so embarrassed. At dinner. How can I tell the kids? It's going to wreck their lives. And at 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get through this. What's going to happen to us? It's time to stop thinking. It's time to start dialing. Call 1-888-995-HOPE for a free government program that offers expert one-on-one advice about your mortgage options. I'm all alone. No, you're not. We've helped over a million homeowners, and we want to help you. And now there are more ways to help. Call 1-888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. Are you worried about losing your home to foreclosure? If you've been threatened with foreclosure or receive legal papers from your bank, you have approximately 30 days to respond. If you do not respond, you could lose your home. You have rights. Act now to protect your rights. You can stay in your home. Many times you can even modify your loan. The bottom line is you can get past this, but you must act right now. If you've been served by your bank and you're worried about losing your home to foreclosure, now is the time to fight back and save your home. Time is limited, so call the professionals at National Foreclosure Defense right now. 
That number again is 800-932-4102. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. Time to rock it from the Delta to the DMZ. Is that me or does that sound like an Elvis Presley movie? Viva Da Nang. Oh, Viva Da Nang. Da Nang me, Da Nang me. Why don't they get a rope and hang me? Hey, is this a little too early for being that loud? Hey, too late. It's 0600. What's the O stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. Speaking of early, how about that Crow magnon Marty Drywitz? Thank you, Marty, for silky smooth sound. Make me sound like Peggy Lee. Freddie and the Dreamers. The wrong speed. We've got it on the wrong speed. For those of you who are recovering from a hangover, that's going to sound just right. Let's pull it right back down. Let's try a little faster. See if that picks it up a little bit. Let's get up on 718. Those pilots are going right now. I really like the music. I really like the music. I really like the music. Oh, still a bad song. Hey, wait a minute. Let's try something. Let's play this backwards and see if it gets any better. This new hit. Freddy is a devil. This new hit. Freddy is a devil. Hey, uh, hi, can you help me? What's your name? My name's Roosevelt Lee Roosevelt. Roosevelt, what town are you stationed in? I'm stationed in Poon Tang. Well, thank you, Roosevelt. What's the weather like out there? It's hot. Damn hot. Real hot. Hot in things is my shorts. I can cook things in it. Little crotch pot cooking. Well, can you tell me what it feels like? Foo, what is hot? I told you again. Were you born on the sun? It's damn hot. You can be a little thing. I saw it so damn hot. I saw one of those little guys in the orange robe burst into flames. It's that hot. You know what I'm talking about. But what do you think it's going to be like tonight? It's going to be hot and wet. That's nice if you're with a lady, but it ain't no good if you're in the jungle. Thank you, Roosevelt. Here's a song coming your way right now. Nowhere to Run To by Martha and the Vandellas. Yes! Hey, you know what I mean. AFVN, rocking you from the Delta to the DMZ. AFVN, better than AFVD, which means you have to get a quick shot. We're moving on right now. Here's a riddle for you. What's the difference between the Army and the Cub Scouts? Ah. Cub Scouts don't have heavy artillery. Hey, I've been here for an hour. I'm only getting 1,600. Why? Because I have to. It's the army. Talking out in the field today. Hi, what's your name? Hey, Bob Fibber. Bob, what do you do? I'm in artillery. Thank you, Bob. Is we play anything for you? Anything. Just play it loud, okay? No. I haven't meant nothing to you. I just named him Creek with women that look like Zorba. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Those girls are just so pretty. Gomer, are you here in Vietnam? Yes, I am. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Linda, why did you name your daughter Linda Bird? Because Linda Dog would be too cruel. Ah, easy, girl. Easy. You know, if you pick them up by their ears, it doesn't hurt them as much. Oh, you're going straight to hell for that one. Watch out over there. Here's an incredible coincidence. Oh, gee, men. Colonel Sanders, actually the same person. You be the judge. Our lines are open. Something real special right now. We've got our traffic report up there on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. How's it going up there? Uh, Adrian, it's not going uh, exactly well. There's a water buffalo jackknife up there. It's not a very pretty picture. There's horns everywhere. I don't know what to say. We're going to maybe drop in a little nape on there and try and cook him down. Maybe a little barbecue. We've got a special man in the audience today right now. It's Mr. Leo. He's a fashion consultant for the Army. But thank you, Adrian. I'm just very happy to be here. I want to tell you something. You know, this whole camouflage thing for me doesn't work very well. Why is that? Well, because you go in the jungle, I can't see you. <laughs> you know, it's like wearing stripes and plaid. It, for me, I want to do something different. You know, you go in the jungle, make a statement. If you're going to fight, clash. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you for that lovely tune. That funky music will drive us till the dawn. Let's go, let's boogaloo till we puke. 
That's about it for the Adrian Crown Hour. I'm going to take myself out of the driver's seat, but I'm going to turn you over right now to Mr. Excitement, a man with limp damaged hair, but nevertheless a fireball, Dan Levitan. <laughs> you snickering floppy ear hound when courage is needed you're never around those medals you wear on your moth-eaten chest should be there for bungling at which you are best so stop the pigeon 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 how damn him jab him tab him grab him stop the pigeon you, silly, stop sneaking, it's not worth a chance, for you'll be returned by the seat of your pants. And clunk, you invent me a thingamabob that catches that pigeon or I lose my job. So, stop the pigeon, 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 ow! Nab him, jab him, tab him, grab him, stop the pigeon! Hey, welcome back, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We're back after that little break. <clears throat> a little good, good morning Vietnam bit. One of my favorite actors, Robert Williams. Uh, great, great, great loss right May there. May he rest in peace. Absolutely. Unbelievable, unbelievable loss. Just before the break, we had Joe Exotic come in and pay us a visit, and it was, uh, it was definitely cool to have him on the show instead of just calling into the show. No, so. yeah, it's a little different when you're calling into the, to the show opposed to coming in. Opposed to sitting right here to yeah, my right. To us. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely cool. So, yeah. Wow, it's quarter to ten already. Why does it seem like today's going it's so slow? It's not quarter to ten. It's, it's quarter not. to nine, our time. Oh, shit. This time. Oh. So we end the show here at ten. We're back on our old schedule. Uh, oh, when, that's when, what's when, got me. When we started at seven a.m. Yeah, you know. Now we end at ten, not not oh, on the Eastern Seaboard. Right, right. You know, yeah, so that's what's got me all screwed up. I keep looking at the computer time, and it says nine forty-seven. No, that, that clock hasn't changed, and I don't think it would change because the, I, 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 you have to, you have to program it. You have, I you can have actually it. hit it and no, say look. change date and time settings and all of that. No, to, yeah, yeah, but I'm going to leave that because that keeps us on on uh, Eastern time zone. Uh, um, so today, I guess we got one hell of a day planned for us, huh? Yeah. I think Joe's got us going to be a little busy today. Yeah, running around. I actually uh, want to take some footage of the animals that are uh, in the park over here. Yeah. Um, with the camera, we'll bring that around, so we'll make sure we get a lot of documents, uh, documentation. Uh, documentation. Documentation. I can't. I can't say it. <laughs> I, 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 I got tongue tied. The D word. It was three times I tried it. <laughs> after the third time, I'll quit. I'm done after the I'm third done. time. I'm the done. D word, and we're not D. talking about. The Documenta- D. I can't, I can't. Documentary. I, I, try, I really just tried to say it again. Documentary. Say it ready. Documentary. Slow. There you go. All right. Where's the applause? I don't have it loaded. We don't have that. So we'll, we'll give you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't have that loaded either. <laughs> That's the only thing that sucks about my sound effects. I can only load five of them at a time. If I do it on our main board at the house, there's spots for, I think, 300. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can put oh, 300 okay. different sound board, uh, Yeah, sound buttons effects. on this one. We can just yeah. push a button. Yeah, on the soundboard. Instead of just clicking a button, we just push it. We just push it push instead it. of click it. So. That's, That's the answer to everything. Just push the button. Ah, push it. <laughs> Push it real good. Sorry. So uh, Janet Harry says only one tiger in the house. Joe, you're slipping. Um, no, yeah, I think one tiger is uh, in the house is, we, is about more than I can handle. Been up to twelve yeah. in a house. Could you time. imagine, bro? Yeah, oh my no. god! And you know how many freaking bottles you have to make all, all day? You're sitting at home making bottles. These twelve tigers. Gary Douglas just said in the chat room. Be sure to go see Boo. Boo. Um, is B-E-U? he the bear? Is he the bear? I I'm think. not sure. I know we're going to see the bears today. Yeah, that, that's what Joe was just telling us. We're going to kiss a bear today. I'm going to go suck face with a grizzly. Yeah. <laughs> give a little, give a little <laughs> <laughs> He's going to freaking rip my tongue out. That tastes pretty good. Ew, that's gross. It doesn't sound like making out the me. Gross. No, it doesn't. It sounds like you're freaking over there beating it. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell me when I was. Shh. The cameras aren't up. They don't. The cameras know. aren't up. They don't. They don't see me beating the meat. <laughs> Sorry, that was me literally spanking my wood. 
<laughs> I was really <laughs> tapping the wood the right desk there. desk is made of wood, folks, just in case you get any fucking wrong ideas over here, all right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, chimp. Oh, Bo. Bo oh, oh, aha. The chimp. I'm not sucking face with a monkey. I'm sorry. No. No. No, because they'll suck back. Oh, we would, did go in. I did go into the primate house. I did see I didn't. the baboons. I didn't. You, you toured the you, you toured the park more than me yesterday. I did. I did. I was sitting in here watching the production crew over here. I did. Uh, yeah, but I sit. I could sit in my own studio and watch the production crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I say crew lightly because it's me and you. Yeah, I was gonna say who me? <laughs> yeah. Who, who, who me? Yeah. No, yeah, so it's me and watch you. me what I'm doing. No, it's me. I'm and doing the same I thing. Turn you're the doing. camera on. I watch me, and then I just turn to my right and I watch you. So uh, you know what I'm doing? Yeah, I, I'm resting. I know I'm resting. I'm resting. You hear you resting, <laughs> dude. That's funny. We have to watch. They got to see that movie. Yeah, the 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 jokes that we you know we we come up with it always refers to one of the movies that we always Goodfellas, that Casino, we always, that we always refer to Godfather, any and, any of the gangster movies, and and the. Uh, Travis never even seen Godfather. He doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> when we're talking about the spider, uh, yeah, spider? yeah, that spider is dead. <laughs> that, that spider is petrified. We got, yeah, it, we definitely got to put him, uh, get that movie and, and put him in front of the TV and let him see it. Speaking of speaking That's of sure. spiders, um, I actually pulled up an article. I saw that on my I, I, phone. I, yeah, go ahead, do it. Um, and it seems like spider venom could be an alternate uh, use for a painkiller. Um, Just as long as we don't have to get bit by the spider, I'm all right with it. It says, uh, a long-term sought secret for an effective, long-lasting painkiller. Um, in a lab dash test, seven compounds obtained from a venom, from venom block, from venom block, <laughs> oh my God, I, I'm, I'm going cross-eyed over here. I'm you sorry. don't have enough blood in your THC system. I'm going to start that over. Cool. Uh, seven compounds obtained from venom block a transmitter. Um, the brain senses for pain. Um, the hunt for the medicine based on w uh, just one of the compounds, which would open a new class of potent painkillers, is a now a uh, step closer. Um, I, I, you know what's going to happen? I could see Venom being new, the new drug out on the friggin' street when this, uh, when this hits, you know. They'll it, name it, it that, too. Uh, Venom. Company. Yeah, they, they will name it Venom. Yeah. Um, and, and instead of using dope or, or heroin or oxycodone, like, these hey, people, dude, you he, got any of that Venom, you got yo? some Venom, man. <laughs> I need some of that Iraq Venom. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, uh, I'm tweaking. Iraq the Venom, I'm dude. right now. I'm so withdrawn. So, and then you got some idiot goes, nah, man, I ain't got no Iraq Venom. Got the reptile Venom, though, yeah. yo. <laughs> I got the reptile venom. Yeah, you go out and freaking lick a frog, you'll hallucinate. It's all right. <laughs> the warts, they won't, they, you won't catch any. Don't yeah. worry about them. Just yeah. lick around. Isn't that just lick around the warts? Just lick around the warts. It's like trying to go in between the raindrops. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. But I thought that was pretty interesting that they found uh, a, a new ingredient for uh, painkillers. Um... Is it going to be, when is it going to be available, did they say? It, or it doesn't it say anything. It was just found uh, from a lab test, just uh, recently. Just recent gotcha. lab test. Gotcha. Dude, I'm humbled. I really am about I'm this humbled. place. I am too. It's it's quite humbling. Joe was right. You really don't get a sense of what they do until you get here. No, uh, not at all. And, and, and we're and only here, what, this is day three? This is day two. Two. Uh, three. Well, three, yeah, because we got here um, on Tuesday. Um, so which, yeah, it is day three. Yeah, which we ended okay. up getting here late. So this is actually day two. It, it's day three. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I feel honored to be invited to this place because uh, I love animals and oh, yeah. I love to see what Joe does here. Yeah, it's definitely that's cool. That's why he brought us out here so we can get first-hand exclusive tour of, of, of the GW Zoological Park in Oklahoma. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, when we started talking about the animals and stuff like that, well, not that I think, I know that's the reason why. We really didn't go in-depth too much because I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I, I, I haven't been able to That's see That's why you were like, Tim, listen, the first week or second week I was here, or the second day I, I, I worked for the station here, um, Chrissy, she, she's like, listen, uh, I'm doing the show for the love of animals. Do you want to do it with me? Yep. I'm like, really? With you. With you was the key word. Yeah, well, with, uh, just, just, just to do the show with right. me. Right. <laughs> and we're not going to take it any further than that. Um, but, uh, 
I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah. It was the second day I was on the radio, and she's saying, "Oh, well, we got to pull up these articles and stuff like that. We're, we're, we're working to uh, to uh, save the population of of wolves." Because and you did an incredible job. That's too. basically what she uh, had started the show for was the wolves, um, the gray wolf actually right, yeah. out west. Um, and I, I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, but I, I, she put me in there. I did well. Um, and, of course, some things happened. I started doing the show. And it, it didn't continue after that, so we just dumped it. I, we shouldn't have dumped it. We should have kept on going with it. Um, um, I can bring the show back. We, we can, for sure. Yeah, we can bring the show back, definitely. I don't know you know, if it'll exactly be the same genre as For the Love of genre. Animals. I don't know if the... the um, I don't even know if you know. I'll call it for the love of animals. No, again. I, I wouldn't call it for the love of animals. No, couldn't bring it back and do that. No, but, but uh, you know, I definitely want to bring something to that fact back to make awareness. Yes, I think it's definitely needed. And educate um, people along with what Joe Exotic does and Joe Exotic TV and all of that. Uh, I think there's need for another another show out there that that you know. That promotes animal, right? Animals. Uh, um, promotes animals and raises animal awareness. Really, yes. um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to see if we can't get this camera to get going here, buddy. What the webcam? Yeah, I'm going yeah. to try and see if we can't get the camera up. Yeah. Wow, and I, I didn't even think about using that camera on the. Uh, on I, the I just happened to look over, and you saw that little dot and on I top see of the that screen. Dot, like, and I'm like, I wonder Son if that'll work. Bitch. Yeah, we got a camera on. Wow, this look, we're we're live and we're, we're we're streaming. Well, almost. He's just queuing it up over here, but wow, we're our our voices are coming through. Yeah, we're on. Yeah. Uh, we just got a broadcast. See. No, I don't see it. No. For some reason, the camera's not coming. We were trying to uh, broadcast Ustream so you guys could watch us uh, here in Joe's, Joe Exotic studio, but uh, it doesn't seem like we're pulling up. Oh, wait, it's loading. No, that's right. Uh, it's audio only, only. only audio, yeah. Why is it not recognizing you the camera? You know why? Because the camera's probably not um, enabled on the setting. That's probably why. No, I just when, did that. When was the last time you used this camera? Never. Never. It's been there. <laughs> I just never used it. It's never been used before. Right, see if this this works. I would really love to bring this uh, camera up so everybody can watch us um, broadcasting here. Along, um, you know, Timmy and I are here at Joe Exotic TV dot com studio. Um, I, I just, you know, I think it'd be really cool if everybody got to see firsthand. So let's see, Cyberlink webcam um, HP. There it is. That's why. And bingo. Wow, he's up and running on Ustream right now. Yep. Very, very slow. Uh, laggy. A little laggy, but... A little laggy, and it's um, almost, like, really hard to see us, so... Um, yeah, we got the green screen behind us, because that's what Joe's stage is uh, set up like. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get this broadcasting. Um, you can catch us on our website on Ustream, uh, www.talkshitradionetwork.com. Um, and watch us live here at the GW Zoological Park in Oklahoma. Um, Joe Exotic Studio over here. Title it. Oh, sorry, my mic was off. I'm just trying to title it and everything. So, yeah. Um, we are... This this is all new right here. This is, this is a never before done for us. This is definitely a never before done. I'm actually going to record it so it archives as well. And then we'll share it. And we are broadcasting live on Talk Shit TV Show um, on our Ustream account. Uh, click share again. Okay. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> you should be able to go to Facebook.com.
You yeah, still, defended us. Uh, still want to work with you. I mean... Today was a fucking ridiculous day, yeah, but we don't want to go there. We, um, we, we don't want to go there. Too much controversy. Going to just shut the video down then. Wow. Yeah. This is uh, it's a real shitty little computer. Real shitty little computer. In and out. In and out. Exactly. Because yeah, that's exactly what it is. Did you see the net ping the go up was to lag. red? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's so. Exactly what it was. All right. Can't really do that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, everyone. We can't get the video up today. You guys don't want to see us anyway. No, nah, we look like shit. Yeah, we look like shit right now. Yeah. Look woke, like up, a sheep. woke up about 15 minutes before the show was aired. <laughs> I we literally. I was so so unprepared. I haven't watched the news in days. I yeah, know, I know, right? Isn't that funny? Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on in our society. I know. Uh, I don't know what's going on out there. But <laughs> I really don't care at the moment. I'm having a great time. See, and yesterday when we went out to uh, get some dinner, what, the nearest friggin' diner was, what, 15 mi uh, miles away, 20, 30 minutes away? I love that. Bro. Well, and it took 20, 30 minutes because of the snow. The snow uh, yeah. You had to go a little slow, slick roads out there. People are fucking, you know, in, in drainage ditches. Yeah. Just because careening off the road because they don't know how to drive. That was crazy, bro. Or, or, or people retarded people. Like doing... re retarded people doing 55 on the highway when there's mm -hmm. a sheet of ice underneath them. Mm -hmm. and, and these people, they should just stay home. Don't cause a friggin' accident. It, 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 you know it's snowing out. Don't go out. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you don't know how to drive, definitely. How about them idiots flying up the highway, bro? Yeah, I know. those semi-trailer uh, um, drivers. Blew by us they, like we were standing still. They, they, one gust of wind, that thing would have jackknifed. Uh, it would have been all over for that guy. Yeah. And then it, I, I would have pulled over, fired up the camera, and said, how does it feel to be an asshole? Well, and then you got the stupid retards who have four-wheel drive cars who think they could, you know, fly down the road just because they have four-wheel drive. That's not the case. You're still going to no. slip and slide. You catch uh, a piece of ice, man, you're, 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 you're spinning out. You're going to slide just as fast, if not faster, than, you than, know. Than the rate you were going. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you, know, you got to remember fucking inertia. You know, law of gravity. <laughs> oh, I'm like, inertia? Who's that? Inertia, <laughs> yeah. Is that a scientist? Every action has an equal reaction. Yes, I know that. Review timeline. Let's see. You have been tagged by Chastity Hughes. Hi, Chastity Hughes. Chastity, who are you? Southwest. Claim two to ten. You know what? You know what, Keep Chastity? Your fucking advertisements to yourself. We yeah. don't want any of that. I don't want your fucking spam. Yeah. And I am going to report it as spam. So next time you do it. Don't you just love those? Those people just post it on your timeline just so then they can, you know, sell whatever the hell they're selling. Yeah, take that shit and stuff it up your fucking red colored hair. I don't want to see that shit on my fucking. <laughs> I know you're gonna say red colored pussy. Well, no, <laughs> hers is not colored red. Uh, it's about it, it, pink it's, with dark around it. No, it's probably blue. It's probably beautiful though. From the picture I seen, she looks pretty hot. So uh, I, I, I'd, I'd check out. I'd check it out. I don't care for interracial. You know, no, not at all. No, man. we already spoke about it. I know. It. If it's not right, it's not for me. If it's not white, it's not for me. Bro, some black women are. No. some black women are just no. unbelievably beautiful. Not naked. attracted. Really? Not attracted. Dude, I don't understand how. Uh, I, I got to introduce you to Tia. Uh, no, don't bother. No, Tia's beautiful, bro. <laughs> don't don't bother. She takes her clothes off, and you'll just go. Bing. 
Well, of course. Show we. But, uh, oh, no. When you see this thing, you want to jump in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice and wet. Oh, God. It's beautiful. Girl. Yeah, she's probably fucking dripping. She's unbelievably gorgeous. That's all I got to say. Oh, Chastity Hughes is pretty good looking. Oh, let's check her out here. No, I don't really care. I do. I'm a dirty dog. I want to. I'm see a dirty dog. Chick. I want to see this chick. I want to see. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I tear that ass up. No, no, no. Tear that ass up. No, no. Look at those DSLs, dude. No, I don't really care. No. Oh my God. It, it, That's a bad picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, a couple of them are pretty good, but not that one. That one's not so good. How do I know this chick? Yeah, doesn't doesn't is? makeup do a fucking good job? It does, doesn't it? I, I want to know how I know this chick. Um, Chastity Hughes. Oh. That explains it. She's from Spring Hill. Oh. She's friends with Joseph Balga, which is an ex-host um, of the show who couldn't walk less than a mile to be at work every morning. And she's sending Southwest flight uh, advertisements. Now, I love Southwest, but after reading the report that I read a couple weeks ago, yeah. how they failed to um, inspect, what, 100 planes of yeah. theirs? Yeah. They're overdue for an inspection. Group? I, yeah, that's really responsible. Yeah. And then when when the people die in the plane, then uh, they, they find records that the last time it was uh, it was inspected was years before. Yeah, it was overdue but for that. an inspection. Yeah, that'll be. And great you can't even sue them because when you purchase the tickets and you and you click on that acknowledgement, yeah, you know, it probably says it in fine print. Damn right it does. That's that's your. <laughs> oh, oh, they yeah. they, they accepted it. Yep. They printed out their tickets. They boarded and they knew the risk involved. They didn't. They didn't read the friggin' uh, fine yep. print, and that's your fault. That's right. But you could fight that in court because it's not my legal signature. Mm, yeah, it's you just, know what it's I mean? just click accept. It's an electronic signature, mm. but it's not. You know, it, you could still South, fight it. Southwest got enough lawyers. I don't know which one's lose. her. No, I, I'm not into that. I don't know why we're still looking at her. Because I think she's cute, dude. <laughs> I wanted to see some ass. Anyway. Anyway, and other news. Right? Other news. Other news. I'm um, sorry, Chastity. Uh, I don't mean to uh, to offend you or anything, but you're hot, and I just wanted to check out some pictures of you. I'm not trying you. to offend you or anything like that, but you're hot. You're hot, and I wanted to see you with JJ. <laughs> Is that offensive? <laughs> sorry. It's called Talk Shit Radio. Sue me. Yeah, exactly. Sue me. Yeah. I'm gonna once we get back down to Florida, mm -hmm. we we have um we we have a, a little bit of a mission that we're gonna go fuck with somebody. Yeah, I won't mention any names, but Carol Baskin, you're so fucked. You're so fucked. Well, you have no idea. Uh, we have we have a couple of things we have to do before that. We have to go see Luke the Elephant. Oh yeah, I can't wait to do and that. But I'm range. definitely going to fuck with Carol Baskin. You oh can yeah, that 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 baby got back too, boy. She got a booty on her. Look at that ass. Yeah, she's huh. she's black. Puts that shit up in the air, slam her face in a pillow, and it's good to go. All right, so let me get off of that there. Let, me, let, just, me, let, me, um, let me slap myself out of here. Yeah, I'll just get uh, real I, ornery I and nasty and start over talking. This girl over here. Yeah, I'll start talking all sorts of crazy shit. Still talking about her ass and telling people how much I want to stick something in it. And <laughs> we'll take the show to a whole new level. Oh, Janet. Look at this right here. Out of here. Janet, thank you for joining us. Yeah, Janet, uh, lost you again, in and out, out of here. All right, see you later, Janet. All right, so Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. It looks like Joe's crew's coming into work. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Yeah? Everybody's doing good this morning. The zoo is ready to go. The zoo is ready to go. Yeah. Well, you came to the right place for the zoo, because it's right here, <laughs> live. <laughs> There's no apology There's needed. No apology needed There's no buddy. apology needed, buddy. Is, 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 you know. is it too cold for you guys to go out there and... Uh, and uh, video? No. no? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> it's, all it's only snow. Fuck it's, it. It's only snow. <laughs> it's only the cold. Yeah, it's, it's only 18, 16 degrees out. What are you guys, degrees. pussies or something? You, you act five. like you're from Florida. No. Yeah, yeah, we do. It, we do. It does snow a lot in Florida. It just falls in the form of rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Torrentially. About, about, about 3,000 feet off of about, snow. Yeah, about three inches an hour, no less. Fucking ridiculous. I'm bro. actually looking at a report. Okay, what do you got? On, uh, um, I'm sorry, I think it's CNN. Um, okay. It says uh, Florida, 26-year-old Central Florida man died after being shot in the face earlier Wednesday morning by a sheriff's deputy attempting to serve a search warrant um, <laughs> on, on a narcotics investigation. Oopsie. Um, the Volusia Police. Uh, Volusia uh, County, Volusia there you County go. Volusia County yeah. reported a press release that the victim, Derek Cruz, um, Adv uh, advanced on a member of SWAT 
Um, as the officer well, was entering the house, he's a dumbass. He's killing. Yeah, they don't advance on an officer. I mean, you, you, I got a you, piece you of think, advice for anybody out there. <laughs> you think they won't fucking shoot you? They will shoot you. And then they'll yeah, go, "Hey, dude." Day. They'll go after you're on the ground and your lungs are hanging out of a tiny little hole that came in your at the front, and then your spleen is hanging out that giant hole you got. That you blew out of your fucking back, um, yeah. They they definitely shoot first and ask questions later. Kablam! Why'd you do that? <laughs> what are you doing? Why they do that? Because oh, my life was threatened. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I saw you reach in your pocket and you pulled out a nickel. No, see, it, it, what doesn't get what, what gets you shot me is in Florida why, for reaching why, for your wallet. Why not use non-lethal force? That's what I don't understand. Okay, yes, did he have a weapon in his hand? It doesn't report it here. But Didn't we talk? You were the one that enlightened me about it. When they're trained to shoot, they're not trained to shoot people in the leg. They're not trained to Center shoot, mad, you know, right? just, just to disable the, yeah. uh, the assailant or, 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 or the suspect or the defendant or anything like that. They're shoot to fucking kill. Yeah, which is pathetic because there's so many people down in Florida that are dying for no reason. No, and, and you wonder you wonder why those two cops in, uh, in Brooklyn were shot because uh, yeah. something it's a, it's happened. A retaliation. You know, someone wanted retaliation. Right. It doesn't matter what cop it was or what police department. He, he felt that he needed to kill a cop because mm -hmm. of what the cops are doing out there. I just read a story the other day that um, the citizens, and uh, I won't even go into the details on it. No, you can go into details as much I don't as have the story up, so I can't oh, go into geez, details in it. So I'm kind of homes, fucked on that one. Pulled up. <laughs> but what I saw was the citizens revolted against the local sheriff's department, yes. flipped over two cars, lit one on fire, and then said, yo, I for an eye. Fuck what, around. Was this in Ferguson? It might have been. <laughs> was this in Ferguson after the Michael Brown death? <laughs> now, that was a justified kill, I'll tell you. I mean, I, That was. I, I, I don't it, care what anybody says. It was says. a justified kill. This yeah. guy was a punk, and yeah. he advanced on officers in a threatening manner. There was no reason for him to... He, comply! You, you got a cop with a friggin' 9 millimeter in your face. Get on the fucking ground! Yo, when the cops busted into my house, all right, and I opened up the door, and the guy pulls his gun on me and says, Get on the ground. I went, No. Shoot me. Just like that. Shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me. Um, simply because I knew he wouldn't. And make a martyr out of me. I dare you. You want to see power? Go ahead and shoot me. Kill me. I'll show you power. Watch what happens then. What, watch what happens then. You're going to be six feet under the ground. It's not they're me. They're shooting the wound. They're shooting the kill. But it's not me they have to worry about after that. There's retaliations from other people. You know that. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. This radio show would just get crazy at that point. I would bash and bash and bash from, from hell. <laughs> I was going to say, where? Oh, I'm St. Lucifer. I'd be going home. That, that's a long broadcast. That's a definitely long... That's a long Do they have Wi-Fi down there? Long distance broadcast. I don't know. I've never been to hell. But <laughs> when I die, that's yes, where I'm you going. have. We just left hell. That's where I'm going. <laughs> we just left hell, he said. We did. We did. Do you believe that it is 12 minutes after 10? Oh, wait a minute. 12 minutes after 10, you're reading the long fu I'm wrong fucking clock. <laughs> that still says Florida that time. That still says Florida time. I'm so fucked up with this We're whole back time. We're schedule. Just forget it. Imagine we went three-hour time difference. <laughs> <laughs> be all fucked up yeah. then. No, we'd be, we'd be reporting on their time, not yeah, I wouldn't stick to Yeah, I wouldn't stick to East Coast time. Fuck no, that. I'd be like, you guys are going to have to get up earlier to check out the show. No, you're going to have to watch ass. us later because <laughs> we're getting up earlier. You catch the replay, fuckers. I ain't, I ain't playing this game. <laughs> we'll record it. Just let it fucking play. <laughs> yeah, right. Replay. That's it. Replay. Talk shit radio replay, folks. Thanks. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> you want to take a couple of commercials? <laughs> We got an audience. I've never had an audience, so this is weird. You want to take a commercial? <laughs> um, I don't know. You want to take a commercial? We yeah, can take, take a commercial. Fuck it. Let's, let's put on a commercial. Which you listen to Talk Shit Radio, everyone. Stay tuned. We've got a couple Hold of... Hold on. You, you, you're week. getting me ready for a commercial. I ain't even staged. You stage it up? I don't know what you're doing over there. Well, I don't have a mic stand. I only got two hands. Well, we're here for the next couple of days in Oklahoma, GW, a zoological park um, with Joe Exotic. We'll be actually on Joe Exotic TV tonight, so catch us live, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 7 p.m. And what website is that? Eastern Standard Time. That's JoeExoticTV.com. You got it, puppy. All right, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We'll be right back. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. If you've had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you deal with your complications. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses, lost wages, 
burdens and pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Our partner law firms are experts in hip replacement surgery lawsuits. Find out now if you're eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion hip settlement fund. Call now for free information. 855-586-1560. That's 855-586-1560. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. If you've had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you deal with your complications. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Our partner law firms are experts in hip replacement surgery lawsuits. Find out now if you're eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion hip settlement fund. Call now for free information. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. That's 855-586-1560. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. Hey, welcome back to Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, 1017 Florida time, 917 Oklahoma time. Oklahoma time. Bro. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm sitting there talking, my mic's not even in my hand. <laughs> uh, I'm all tangled up between my mic cable and my you're headphone right, cable. You're all right, Spider? I'm all right, Spider. Spider, you're all right, Spider? Spider, you all right? Spider. Give us a couple yeah, of give, a, give us a couple, couple of steps that. there, Spider. <laughs> Um, Look, what do you want, got? Do you want to queue up this uh, this classic gangster movie scene, this little montage? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that the audio to that is turned up on the board. Go ahead and hit it. I don't know what happened there. Um, we lost the whole playback of that. The feed's not going through. Just kill it. Sorry oh, about there that. There we go. Um, all right, so I'm not too sure what the fuck happened with that. No, I yeah. wanted to play this little uh, I've this got little, too much this little montage that we had all over here queued up, but it didn't go through the board correctly. And it was just, not my regular sorry for board. the dead air. Uh, uh, we lost a lot of listeners right there, so... Yeah. <laughs> we apologize for that. Arbitron Radio. 
ratings just dropped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now ask me if I care. Do you care? No, not one bit. No, not one I bit. never really did. That's okay. Another quaalude. She'll come back to us in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this guy over here. So um, check this out, bro. Again, check this out. I don't want to check this out. Check this out. <laughs> I don't want to check this we out. We are um, uh, going to go suck face with some bears today. You can suck some face with some bears. <laughs> don't even get bear me what? started. <laughs> some bear what? That was fucked up. <laughs> I'll give you something to suck on. Yeah. Later, honey. <laughs> Wait, where's the vomit? There we go. Vomit. <laughs> Yeah, there's the vomit. There's the vomit. Yeah. Do I make you horny? Do I make you horny, baby? So, uh, all right, um, you guys sitting down in Florida, I want to let you know, kiss my ass because it's too freaking warm. I hope you get a freaking cold snap come through. You know, it, Freeze the pipes, you pricks. It, it, it's not that bad because we're only here for a couple of days because we have beautiful weather all year round in Florida. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, what does it drop down to? Maybe 30 degrees a week out of, out of the whole entire year? I think we had... What was it, three days? Three of days uh, of yeah. 28 degrees, whatever. That was at night, so I was sleeping nice in, in my nice warm bed yeah. at that time. So. With the heat going, got the, the wife all bundled up next to me, which I ended up kicking off to, my, uh, off to her side anyway. <laughs> Get off of me, you too. Get hard. away from me, you son of a bitch. Um... The, the one thing that I do love about here is uh, is the fact that we do get to experience the snow and shit like that. It's been a long time. When was the last time snow. you saw snow? I haven't seen it snow in about a year. So the when last I saw time it, I saw it, it brought me back to New York. Probably four years now. Four years. I shoveled snow once, and then I made a huge investment in rock salt. <laughs> you know what? I swear amazing? to God. I swear to you, Timmy. When I tell you this story all the time, you could have seen my driveway from the satellite image. It was the only one on Long Island that, that didn't have snow on it. Yeah, because I, I did the same exact thing. Just take the snow, uh, the snow blower, run it over a couple times, take me 10 minutes to do my whole entire driveway, throw rock salt down, leave nah. it down, and, and you're good for the whole entire year. Now, the night before, if you read the bag on a bag of salt, it says one cup to X amount of oh, square yeah, foot. Know. You use the whole fucking cup, uh, whole 50 bag. 50 pound bag. The whole bag. On the whole driveway. And you know what the best thing is? If, if you're smart enough to go out there, some people do this, which I always did. The, you the plow, did stop. Also. No, 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 not, not the plow. I was not saying that. Before the, uh, before the snow comes, Put down the rock salt. That's what I did. So you don't have to go out there and yep. shovel and bust your ass shoveling snow. That's it's already exactly halfway melted. Then I, la I laughed at my buddy John. And John, I'm sorry, but I'm talking shit about you. Calls me up and says, I'll help you shovel snow if you help me. I'm like, eh, wrong answer. I'm already <laughs> done. done. So you're going to be doing your own driveway. You're out of luck on that one, buddy. You're, you're shit out you finally of luck. got smart and bought a snowblower. I wouldn't do it without one. See, what was amazing when we went out yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm surprised not to see any plow trucks. I mean, yesterday... We saw it, one. It was a sheet of ice. What they should be going around doing is, salting. is certain, salting and dirting. Yeah. You know, dirt. spread, dirting. Oh, dirt. Spreading dirt. Is that a new word? They're dirting. dirting. They're dirting. <laughs> Dirtin. I'm sorry, I like that. Dirtin. The dirtin. That's dirtin. That's a new word. Uh, because that's we, a talk shit radio exclusive, by the way, folks. Yeah, We're gonna copyright that one. Oh no, yeah, that, that's one of our vocabularies. <laughs> Write that down. Dirtin. Get that on paper. Dirtin. My fucking pen is dead. <laughs> anyway, we got what twenty, thirty something minutes left of the show. Uh, first thing I want to do is just thank everybody for joining us in the chat. Angela, thank you for joining us in the chat. Go to although, fucking school, Angela. Yeah, although you should be in school. Um, my lovely daughter decided to play hooky today. Uh, and then when I said, no, you better go to school, she goes, eh, ask mom. Ask mom. Ask mom. Yeah. Ask been, mom. We already I, spoke about this. I've been undermined it again. <laughs> Shut down. Dad has Shut no down. say in nothing. No, no, I don't. I'm only the father. See, this is why I don't have kids, because they wouldn't listen to me. Yeah, you're better off with a dog. <laughs> you're better off with a dog or a cat. Yeah. Look at Harley. I, I point my finger and he goes running. My last dog ran away. <laughs> Does that tell you something? <laughs> no, it doesn't tell me nothing. <laughs> What kind of parent are you, you dog? Uh, runs away. My dog loved me, but she ran away. She ran away because she didn't like you. <laughs> no, she, she fucking loved me. She was just stupid, and she just ran away. Oh, now blame it on the dog. Is that what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yo, she had a great home living with now. me, man. I fed her three times a day. All she was of a nice. She was a bear. She was she was a, a, a pit lab mix, uh -huh. um, and, and she was all of 130, 140 pounds. She was big. That's centralized up right now. Oh, they're getting more snow than us. Blasted right now under the freaking snow. <laughs> yeah. That's Long Island for yeah, you. Yeah, that it is. That it is. That was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was the uh, the radio parks going off. Bring me that, Travis. Give me that radio. Bring that over here. This is the actual radio going off in the park. Watch, it's so, not going to go off. No now, yeah, it's going to make a liar out of me. It, it, it's not going to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, Travis is going to go sing. Sing for me, baby. Come on. Sing let me, for let me, me sexy. Sing. Right, come on. Go ahead. Here we go. We're waiting on you. No. That's a big 10 four. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Roger. I put it up my to my ear Tim. like I can hear it over the headphones. My, my name is Tim, not Roger. In our studio anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Right there. He's the guilty party. <laughs> Joe's the one that invited us. You can blame him for it. <laughs> We're blaming you for letting us in the studio. <laughs> We're talking on the radio to Joe. To the park, and he's probably going, what the fuck are you? What are you all talking about? We're broadcasting live, and we're talking to you now on the radio. <laughs> we're on the radio on the radio. Yeah, see? We're on the radio on the radio. It doesn't get any better than this, Joe. We are on the radio, talking on the radio, live on the radio. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I got to go. I'm on the phone. Shut the fuck up. Do your thing. Let me do mine. Leave me alone. When I come in the studio, that's when I'll talk. That was code for give whoever's radio you have back to them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to see, guys, when you come up tomorrow morning and you have the meeting, there's going to be a sign that says, don't give talk shit radio the walkie talkies. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to fuck shit all up around here? <laughs> we turn this down before we cause any more problems. <laughs> We're fucking up the whole process. We are. GW2 up. I, I'm sorry. Why do you think I put that meme up of Timon and, and Pumbaa sitting there? Not Timon and Pumbaa. The Lion King and his son. Whatever the name is. Mm, sitting there going, talk shit radio is coming. If we leave now, we can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> if we leave now, we'll be safe. We'll be safe. We'll be safe. No one's safe when we're, when we we're uh, talking about shit. Hence the name, nothing and no one is safe. So we no got some more chat going on. Let's see what's going on. Plug that back into there so we can hear what's going on. What do you mean, what's here, here, what's going on? Daisy Venus, DJ Daisy Venus Kingmaker. Thank you for joining us in the chat. We appreciate it. And um, we are broadcasting live from Winniewood, Oklahoma, GW Zoo, sitting in Joe Exotic TV studio. I still can't believe I was pronouncing Winniewood wrong. The whole entire time Wine I was saying Winewood. Winewood Wine for like months. Winewood. Yeah. Yep. And even when I heard Joe say it on, his, uh, on Joe, Joe Exotic TV, I, 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 I'm like, he's even saying we, it wrong. We were still saying it. <laughs> I'm like, no, he's saying it wrong. It wrong. What's wrong saying with it wrong? What the hell? I'm not the one saying it wrong. <laughs> he's saying it wrong. What's going on? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah right. Oh, my God, I got to piss so bad. And it's not like when we're at our studio. Is that why your legs are crossed? Up. Yeah, no, that's why I'm yeah, sitting I'm shaking, here doing I'm, this. I'm shaking. Yeah. You know, hop on one foot. Just keep your mind off of it. It'll go yeah. away. Don't worry. Trust you can me. You can move that shit, bro, if it's in your way. Don't you hate being a photographer? Don't you hate being a No, I wouldn't do it if I hated being a photographer. No, it just sucks because you've got to be partly a contortionist, too. I, I learned that when I, I went. I have the fun yeah. getting in the small crevices and little spaces just to get that picture. <laughs> I went and I did, uh, I covered a 98 Rock Fest. And they've got, you know, band after band after band. It was like 30 bands there, and it was in the uh, St. Pete Times Forum. And now you're standing outside, and it's like 90-degree weather, and you're taking pictures of the band, and you got the crowd behind you, because I'm in between the stage and the crowd. Yes, yes. With my press pass, I mean, it gets me into to all access. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm standing there, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking, and I'm like, what the hell stinks? And there's a girl standing in the freaking... Are you cooking bugs? You are, too. Um, there's a girl standing in the in the stands, or you know, like right behind me, and she's puking everywhere. She gets done throwing up. On she you? grabs her beer. No, she grabs her beer and chugs it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm the rest of the time we're there. I'm trying to take pictures, and it stinks like fucking vomit. Dude. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, screw this. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm going to my seat. I'm going inside. I'm sitting down. Now, Tampa Bay, uh, the St. Pete Times Forum is an ice skating rink. It's mm -hmm. where Lightning plays. Mm -hmm. So they cover the rink and everything. So I'm in there, and I'm chilling, and I'm chilling. And, and out of nowhere, guess who comes and sits next to me? The girl who's puking? Oh, my God, bro. I'm like up in nosebleed. I got these seats from one of the event directors. All right, they were photo passes to where I could, you know, watch the show for mm -hmm. free, go up there, take pictures, all that shit. And wouldn't you know it, that puke vomit comes and sits next to me. That was it. Not only did I not know one of the artists, not any of them, not only did I not like any of the music, <laughs> now I'm sitting next to the puke princess here. Did she puke again? No, I left. I was done. Oh, right. I grabbed my shit and I left. Um, oh, Rick Kirkman. Kirkman, thank you. Uh, 
Thank you for joining us. Oh, Kirk Ham, I'm Damn, sorry. Damn, your signal is like we're right in a room. I'm telling you, we could pump out some shit with this little laptop, can't we? <laughs> the audio is so good that it's like we're sitting right here next to him. Crystal clear, he says. Um, and for those of you that don't know any better, he's, I could probably grab the lighter and fling it across the room and bing him in the head with it. <laughs> That's like giving a shout out to Travis. Hi, Travis. <laughs> right? Hey, Travis, how's it going? We tried getting him on the air. He he didn't. He doesn't want any part that of that. Work. Not not today. Not today. Not today. He, he sits there and just watches us. Yeah. You feel like you're being scrupled? No, no, no. What no. is the word? Scrup- scrupulated. Scrupulated. What is scrupulated? What is the word I'm looking for? Scrutinized. Scrutinized. Thank scrutinized. you very much. See? Scrupulated. Somebody put in the that, damn freaking that, audience would have Put that in the vocabulary. Scrupulated. <laughs> Somebody knows what we're talking about because we don't. We're writing that down too because we're going to need that. <laughs> we're going to need that later. We're going to need that later. Anyway, guys, it's 1030 in the morning, Florida time. I, Florida I time. corrected it's still it. fucking Florida time. I corrected it, all right? I corrected it. I correct. At least we were on time today for the show. Yeah, we Yesterday weren't late. We were an hour, no, no, no. They were an hour late over there. Yes, the you guys were late. Coast. We, were on, we were on time. Get it right. Don't fucking mess that one up. Make us look bad, worse than we already do make ourselves. Us, yeah, make us look worse than we are. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to be on Joe Exotic TV again. That's www.joeexotictv.com. Um, I tried putting the cameras up for us this morning. That didn't work. So... This laptop sucks. That's all right. So. I, I I never think anyone wants to look at my ugly face. That uh, I you probably I feel right. bad for them. They're sitting there watching me and say, "Wow, this guy's fucking ugly." <laughs> look at this bald motherfucker, man. Where, where's his hair? I'm gonna put up that that picture I where I shaved half of my head. Oh yeah. What do you think? Uh, what the uh, what is that? The curly look? Yeah. 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 I think that ought to be yeah. funny. Like old grandpa. Hell yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Fucking. Yeah. You, yeah. You should put it up. I, I, I should have dyed it orange. I put enough exposing pictures. I think you yeah, should put up a couple. You've been of exposing pictures. yourself all over the park. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Exposing. I'm gonna let you take my trench coat out later. Trench cat? My trench cock. No, I'm not gonna be taking out the trench coat. Nice. Nice. Good nice. picture. Good photographer over Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Yes. Absolutely. Nice shirt too. Sons of Anarchy. Um, you know that's a real biker gang, right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, on Sons of Anarchy. Huh? Yeah, Sons of, on Sons of Anarchy, there's a real biker gang called Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's a real biker gang out of so- Southern California who was disbanded probably about 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. And when I say disband, the Hells Angels came in and took their shit. And when you're in the biker world, that's disbanded. <laughs> you get the Ripping shit off kicked, patches you get the like shit that. kicked out of you. They take your colors, and that's the end of you. In Florida, if you want to start a mo- motorcycle club, you have to go get permission from the outlaws. Yeah, they're the predominant club. Even if you want to start, uh, it's it's like the Italian mob. Oh yeah, you got to go ask. You got to be made. Yeah, you got to yeah. be made by a yeah. higher authority. I was made, but it wasn't by the mob. I was made. It's the Jewish mafia. I was made. By Nicholas Seppi and Sandra Seppi. Yeah. You weren't made. You were found. Are you from Alaska? Are you from Alaska? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Like, from Alaska. We pull up in, your, in his driver. For those of you that no fucking clue, which you wouldn't anyway. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We pull about. up in his driveway. We pull up in his driveway one day, and his grandmother is like, would you say well, senile? She's, she's senile. She's yeah. on the brink of uh, dementia. Yeah. Very, very and bad. I couldn't help but to laugh because she's looking at him and just like you could see the, 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 the confusion in her face. She's like, who are you? Are you, are you from Alaska? Uh, every 10 minutes. When I go to the bathroom and come back, I'm a new person. Sir. Hey, Rick, what are you doing? Hey, Jim, how you doing? I think it's hilarious. Grandma, I'm, I'm your grandson. I, 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 I've been your grandson for 28 years I now. could just picture your grandfather just sitting there shaking his head going, oh, my God, what did I get into? <laughs> what did I get into? He, he has no choice. He don't care right? now. He can't see it anyway. Uh, yeah, he can't say. Yeah. He's legally blind. Also. I had an Aunt May and an Uncle Jim like that, and for the longest time I couldn't get it right, and I called them Aunt Jim and Uncle May. No, you... one was blind, one was deaf. Oh, jeez. They got along great, bro. It was it was just they got along thing. great. They did. It was Mutt and Jeff all the way. Um, the only difference is they didn't ask me if I was from Alaska every time I seen them. Yeah, <laughs> where are you from? Who are you? What's your name? Oh, that was funny as hell. You're like grandma. I'm your no. daughter's son. <laughs> I'm your daughter's son. Oh, is she here too? No, <laughs> no, grandma, grandma. grandma. She passed away nine years ago. Also, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but the shit is fucked up. What are you laughing at? Like, what, how am I funny? Are you? What's so I funny about me? What are you fucking, fucking laughing fucking about? Funny about me? <laughs> telling you, telling you about my grandma bro. doesn't remember his own grandson. You're sitting there laughing. I'm hysterical. Laugh Put away your laugh. fucking teeth. <laughs> Put away my teeth. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? 
<laughs> They're falling Stop out. Stop fucking laughing. <laughs> no, I, I love my grandparents a lot, but they are my, cool. my, my grandfather, I, every week, he tells the same story. I'm like, Grandpa, you, you already told me this. <laughs> and, and, you know, I feel bad because he has no one to really talk to. Oh, so I'm, per, I'm the person he's actually sitting there talking to every day, having a real conversation. You can tell him the stories because, you've heard him so much. Because he has the same conversations with my grandma, you know, every single day, at least 10 times a day, because she doesn't remember what I'm still laughing. <laughs> And you know how many things get lost in the fucking house that my grandma puts away that my grandfather... I thought I left it right here. A friend, do you know where you put it? No, I don't know where I put it. I didn't touch it. Yeah, you did. I just saw you put it away. <laughs> we got uh, I didn't touch subject. it. <laughs> stop fucking laughing! I can't stop. This, guy, this guy's a funny guy over here. He's a funny guy. He, he, he's going to go throw up. He's going to go piss his pants over here laughing at my friggin' uh, my 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 my... My my stories from home in, in a mental institution. Yeah. No. Oh, when I when I, when I walk into the house, when I walk into the house uh, every day after I get home from the studio, he, do you live here? Yeah, Grandma, I'm here living with you. I'm helping you out. I'm kind of back. <laughs> I'm helping you out, making sure you're all right. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up. <laughs> and in other news. <laughs> and in other news. I don't, I don't have anything pulled up. I don't have shit pulled up. I haven't had anything pulled up in days. <laughs> this, this one time, I remember we were talking about something stupid. And you say, in other news, Bush slips in the polls. <laughs> Bush slips in the polls? How does that sound? You dirty freaking bastard he is. Obama caught him and joined in. <laughs> Obama caught him and slipped him the rod, <laughs> gave him the shaft. The, the first interracial <laughs> sex the government has had with themselves. No, they've been fucking each other for years, buddy. Yeah, you can believe it, that. Not just them, they've been fucking they've the whole country. Fucking us for years, oh my God. All right, I think I got myself composed a little bit here. I got to wipe the tears off my eyes. My fucking stomach hurts. It's, it's your turn. Whew. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. I'm still laughing too much. If I start... Laugh again, I'm done. Show's over. <laughs> Show's over. Pack it up. Let's Pack go. It up. We're, We're done. Going home. That is the nice thing about um, owning the show, being the producer of the show. When I'm done, I'm done. It's like, all right, guys, later. We're out of here. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. How many times have and we done nice, that? The nice thing is also no one fucking up your ass about uh, what, what we say because we, we get a little raunchy sometimes, and that's what talk shit's all about, man. That's why I'm glad we're not on the FM and the AM anymore. No, fuck that because yeah. you know how many... Beep the show they'd, sucked. They, they'd run out of beep words for uh, our show. I used to get a phone call from Jason, the guy at AMFM two four seven, all the time. Lou, you got to be easy. You guys are you guys are out of hand. I'm like, well, you're the idiot that is airing us. I told you it's talk shit radio, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's how we lose a lot of listeners too. Is getting out of hand. No. Oh yeah, I don't. We're care. not a family show, but no, it, yeah, yeah. If you sit down with your daughter in the morning they, having breakfast, you're an idiot. Some people do listen to it with their kids, and it's like, oh my god, I can't believe they Bro, just it's said like that. Taking, my, my, my kid doesn't even know about it. You know, we're, we're talking about the birds and the bees and stuff yeah. like that, and, and, and the kid, the kids are like, mommy, what's the what? what what's a <laughs> vagina? What, what's a big jet vagina, mommy? What's a dingleberry? <laughs> You didn't even know what a dingleberry was. I didn't inform you about I that. I knew what a dingleberry that was. was. That was one, one discussion we have. I knew what a dingleberry was. We talk was. shit all the time. Yeah. We talk I mean, about shit all the time. Fucking make it like I live under a rock or something. <laughs> I do have 20 years on you. What does that mean? That I've seen it done on the radio more than once. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, join us tonight, www.joeexotictv. Dot com. We will be hanging out with Joe again. Great show last night, by the way. It was a great show. I was actually nervous in the beginning. Oh, I had a little butterflies also. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. It's different when we do our talk shit TV show um, because there's nobody behind the cameras. I control the camera over on the board next to me. We don't have a, an audience sitting in front of us, you know, watching, grilling us. Yeah, I don't. Got, you know, yeah, Travis over there just eyeing us. Yeah, all giving the time. us the stink eye right now. He's like. Rrr. He's like, what the fuck did I do? I didn't say nothing. Are you from Alaska? <laughs> no, I'm from California, man. <laughs> dude, dude. SoCal. SoCal, California. Let's go hang 10. No, that's a Hawaiian thing, bro. Hang loose. That's a Hawaiian thing. You guys are tripping. Yo, you no, guys not are yet. Bugging. We haven't even begun. Wait. It gets worse. Yeah, the more comfortable we... we get around you guys, the worse it gets. Wait until we go out there and eat some cow fungus. Cow fungus? Yeah. Hey, fucking... Oh, now you're talking. The light bulb came on. You seen it? 
No, no, I didn't see it. <laughs> Ding. The light bulb came on. I went, oh, aha. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. So if you um, if you sit down at breakfast with your children before you um, are going to work and you're getting them off to school and you want to sit down and have family morning Make time sure earmuff. and listen to talk shit radio, you're an idiot. That's all I got to say, because um, sure it is not a family-oriented show. You, we never have been. You, you never will be. Earmuff them. Earmuff them. Earmuffs. Right. Mommy, what's the earmuffs for? Because these guys are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are really raunchy. Yeah. My mind's always in the gutter. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just how my mind works. Yeah, we know this. So uh, what do we got planned for today, other than making out with a bear? Um, making out with a bear? I want to go take a look at the uh, baby wolves today, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. They have uh, baby wolves. We didn't. We like you said. I before. haven't went to the, into the back where the camel yeah, that's is. That's what I was in that, that section of the park yet. Um, oh, it, speaking it, of camels, it, I got to get a picture of his foot. Oh yeah, have a little camel toe. Camel toe Tuesday. Camel toe Tuesday. <laughs> you know it, bro. That's no, gonna be and, great. And then we'll go around and try to p- take pictures of girls' camel toes. Hey, you got a camel toe? No, oh, I'm not taking pictures of nothing. The no. whole point of it is to send them in. Take a picture of it yourself and send it to me. No, okay. That's a felony. No, it's not. Go to creepshots.com. You can see all the camel toes you want. Yeah, you can go see the, all the camel toes you want, but I don't yeah. know if you can get arrested for that. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, you can? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Um, guy just got arrested not too long ago in Florida. He took, uh, you know, the Crocs, you know, them stupid little yeah, the shoes. recycled plastic. Yeah, the shoes, the little flip-flop yeah. thing. He, he took a, a pin camera and mounted it to his foot, ran the doohickey yeah, up his I, leg. And that, that's that's. That's illegal. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's upskirting right there. Yeah. That, that's getting shot to the upskirt where, where girls are friggin' uh, wearing skirts. There is a law that states with, you can't really take you know pictures, voy- uh, voyeurism pictures of people without their permission. In Florida, I don't know about Yeah, you know how many people on creep shots could get arrested for what they do? Uh-huh. And you know, you know, it, how, many, it, you know how many times I could have been arrested in the airport for what not, I was doing? It, it's not, it, it's not paid on the creepshots uh, dot com. No, but um, they, it they, is paid. They you do get it five just, bucks a picture. Really, I didn't five know bucks that. a picture. Fuck, nope. I'm going out there and taking some pictures. <laughs> Secretively, I'm gonna send the picture of the camel toe on. You're gonna find me in jail. Uh, Tim Suffer was arrested. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a report some, uh, on girl's you. Camel toe, um, <laughs> not knowing. And this guy, he posted it on the website, and he was found out and arrested later in life, uh, <laughs> later in the day, and then and later in life. There'll be questions. Why is he beat bloody? Well, because the boyfriend found out. Fuck that. I'm not worried about the boyfriend. <laughs> you can run faster. No, I don't need to run. <laughs> I- I'll handle my own. That's the first thing you learn when you're from Central Iceland. What? Fight? How to run? Oh, how to run? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Run and hop fences. Damn right. That's all it is about in New York. I was uh, I was getting chased one time in New York. Hopped the fence, ran through this lady's backyard. Bang! Clothesline right across the face. Literal clothesline right across the face. Gashed my face open. Yep. <laughs> my sister and my brother are like, "Oh shit!" Brother got fucked up by a clothesline. Yeah, it was pathetic. My mother says, "What were you doing in Carlton Park?" I'm like, Mom, what do you think I was doing over there? Carlton Park, that's not a nice area. No, it is not. That's not a nice area. No, it is not a nice area. I, I looked at her, I'm like, Mom, what do, you, what do you think I'm doing over there? Come on, wake up. You know, this is the 80s, Mom. <laughs> well, back then, was it prominently black like it is now? There was like, I knew three white people that lived in the whole town. Yeah. One of them I was dating. Like wine her name was Chrissy. And that was the only reason I can walk through the town, walk through Carlton. Oh, Park, yeah. Because they all Well, alert. after dark, you really don't want to walk the streets I'm down there. Go home at 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. And not, I would ride yeah, my red right line. Right now, you won't be found You won't be found if you walk down no. that block. Is that boy, what are you doing on our block? Coincidentally, I have a friend of mine, Jennifer Poole, who is still missing. Mm. They never found the body. They found a bloody T-shirt, but that was about it. I know someone else is still missing. Um, Don Lewis? This guy, Don Lewis, that we know. Yeah. He's still missing. Yeah. MIA. Some, I, bet you, I bet you if you looked around in big piles of shit, you'd find remnants. No, yeah, you'll see some bones cracked up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A little DNA test on that. Yeah. Yeah, check this, will you? Smells like shit. That's because it is. I, I, I feel so friggin' out of my element right now. I don't have my computer yeah. in front of me, man. I, I wish I had my computer in front of me so then I could sit there and pull up whatever I have to pull up. Oh, I know. I, I like taking uh, um, weird uh, news reports. You, you don't like Huffington Post. I always I go to Huffington Post. I hate the Huffington Post. I always go to Huffington Post. I don't Post. like any sort of satire news. Tom Lemons of uh, Real Fucked and Real Slow. Um, you know, he's one of those real news. fake, real fucking slow news. Real fake, real slow news. Yeah, he's one of those assholes that I can't stand out there. That no, I, I, know. I, he's a fake fucking news reporter. He, he's an ambulance yeah. chaser. Constantly verbally attacking him. He uh, he sent me a message. Lou, why are you doing shit on my? I said, because you're not a real journalist. You're a piece of shit, and I don't like you. 
Period. <laughs> um, needless to say, he doesn't say anything to me. There's again. an alligator out right we now. We have an alligator in here right now. And this is what you experience at the GW Zoo. There's a baby alligator right this, this there. This is just normal. This, yeah. is, this, is, this is out of the norm. Everyday occurrences. I think it's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool. It's a baby alligator. It's a baby alligator. Now, make no mistake. Long. Two foot long. He will fuck you up if you got a hold oh, he'll, he'll, he'll take... Right behind us, I know. Yeah, he'll, it's he'll wicked. take he'll take uh, a nice chunk out of your yeah. freaking flesh. Yeah, well, so I, that's all I picture. What what show was that? Jackass when they let him bite the nipple oh, of no, Steve-O, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I picture. And, and his ass. And his ass. Yeah, that motherfucker yeah. left marks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No way, dude. On purpose? Why yeah. Why would you want to do that? Just put your pecker in the fucking cage over there and let the slam the shot. Yeah, and let him freaking look at this thing, man. Holy Jesus, that is wicked. Oh, wow. How old is he? Can you hear it? Let's see if we can... You're going to bite that shit, you got to see me. I'm holding the microphone in front of the yeah, damn gator's you mouth. To say, like he's going to bust out and go, Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yo, he almost No, I'm it. good. Mm -mm. I would have fucking jumped the fuck back. No. no is, he, is he all right? Will he be all right? Here, hold my mic. Here, hold my mic. I'll hold my mic. Lou over here, he's actually holding a baby alligator. Kiss it. Give it a little peck of roo. Give, Give it a little kiss, Spider. Give us a couple yeah. of steps. Lou over here, he's holding an alligator right now. <laughs> he's just peeing. He's peeing out of a friggin' defense mechanism he has. Eyes off, you know. No. How can you tell? He, he, he's looking right at you. And, and what's an amazing part, we're, we're on stage right now at the Joe Exotic TV studio, and right behind us is eight, nine-foot alligators, about three foot behind us. How does he feel, Lou? This is amazing, bro. This is really, really wicked. Are, are you scared? No, not at all. No, I got control of them. I've held sharks bigger than this. Yeah. I've, hold, I've held sharks bigger than this. That's a, that's a big alligator. I don't know. I I wouldn't want any part. Like, yeah, give it a little tongue. Give it a little kiss or roo. You hear that? You hear that? Oh. Come on. That's the gator. That's him making that noise. Come on, do it again. Come on. You're live on Talk Shit Radio. Yeah, you're live you have on anything Talk Shit Radio. What do you got to say? Mm, what do you have to say? Anything? Nothing? Put your, Anything? Fing put your finger on my mouth. I'm hungry. Hello, he my says. baby. Can we get his mouth to move? Come on. Hello, my baby. Yeah, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. All I picture is the frog for Bugs Bunny. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Anyway. No, it reminds me of it reminds me of Spaceballs. It reminds me of Spaceballs when the guy uh, when when the alien jumps out of the friggin' and he grabs the friggin' top hat and the cane. He's like yep. kicking, doing the little doing the little kicks. <laughs> that's the song. Yeah, that's I know that that's song. the song. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Really, Lou? Is it the song? I didn't know that. I never that seen weird, bro. Before. I've never held a gator like that before. No? No, the only time I've ever held him is like um, when their mouth is all taped up. To be able to see inside of his mouth like that is wicked. I hold a lizard every time I jerk off. That's what you call dead air. Cause I'm That's what you call dead air. Because <laughs> I don't even have a reply to that one. <laughs> and to stump me, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I have nothing to say. I, I got no... Other news. Yeah. I think we have to take a commercial break. Can't. Yeah, and in other news. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even comment on that one. So, um... We got about 12 minutes left, guys. I want to thank everybody for joining us in the chat. I'll go ahead and I'll rip down the chat. Not real just quick. the chat. I I really appreciate everyone joining us in the show. Um, Listening. We have, we have yeah, a lot absolutely. of listeners today. Actually, um, we will be broadcasting every day here from the Jewel GW Zoological Park in Oklahoma. You went to throw that all in together, didn't you? I, I'm, you went to go <laughs> zoo. <laughs> um, with our gracious host Joe Exotic. Uh, we will be on Joe Exotic TV tonight. Tonight. Absolutely. You can um, go to www.joeexotictv.com. You can check that out. You can check out our broadcast on talkshitradionetwork.com. You scroll down a little bit, you'll see that. You can go to spreaker.com. Hit us up on Facebook shit. also. Facebook.com yeah. forward slash talkshitradionetwork and talkshittv show. Yep. We're always on. We got it connected to our phones. You got something to say. You want us to talk about something. And to answer your question, Daisy, um, they are shooting video right now. And um, we have Travis making funny 
things make a funny face in the, the background. So it's hard. Why don't you get in front of the camera, huh, Travis? Why don't you get in front of the camera? Yesterday on camera, you were about to whip out your fucking schlong. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm not sure the cameraman wanted to be that in front of. No, I don't think he wants to videotape that. Daisy, we'll get this some. Ain't a porno. Uh, yeah. This ain't a porno. Wait, come down to Florida. We shoot those down there. Um. We'll get the video up, Daisy. Don't worry. You'll see me holding a, an alligator. Um, you could see Timmy holding his lizard if you want, but you'll have to hit him up, and that's private video. So. Yeah, that, that's um, Chatterbait. <laughs> Chatterbait. Yeah, Chatterbait.com. You can check me out. Is it Chatterbait or Chatsterbait? I don't know. No, it's not Chatsterbait. It's Chatterbait. <laughs> Whatever. Because people are chatting while... Well, never mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into it. All righty, then. <laughs> so in other news... We don't have a female in here, do we? Because no, yeah, we're not. We're not. Uh, yeah, we're not making anyone feel uncomfortable, are we? Yeah, we ha- we've had females in the studio before. No, and the key word yeah. had had had. That's that's the reason they never last. Is is because we get a little bit yeah a little bit. Grimy. Tia Tia was the only one that could hang with us, but she was a fucking. I drunk. wasn't there. I she wasn't was there. a drunk. Yeah, she was. A I drunk. wasn't there for her. She'd come in. You could just like smell the alcohol coming out. You'd get high just from the smell. Yeah, because she had freaking alcohol for breakfast. You know what I have for breakfast? Alcohol. You know what I have for lunch? Alcohol. You know what I have for dinner? Ramen. Alcohol. Ramen noodles. (laughs) That's you. Minus the alcohol. Oh, no. You know what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What are you talking about minus alcohol? This is the first week that I haven't drank. That's what I'm saying. In a while. Yeah. Well, plus the alcohol. I love how Travis is taping over there, but still got the lens cap on. He's got the fucking lens (laughs) cap on. (laughs) No battery in it. It's not turned on. <laughs> Shit, I don't do this for a living. You're hired, buddy. You got a job. Yeah, right. <laughs> great, great job, Travis. Great, 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 good, great job. good job, good job, good job. You'll see that later on tonight on our new. No, I'm just playing. All right, guys, nine minutes to the end of the show. I'm done. I got nothing more to talk about. Yeah, so. I'm done. I'm shot. Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We're gonna we're gonna end the show here. Um, like I said, beautiful thing about you know being who I am is I could dictate when and where I decide to end the show. So, And this would be that spot. So, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. Join us tonight on JoeExoticTV.com. We're going to be hanging out with Joe. We're going to talk a little shit with Joe. And if you missed the broadcast this morning, uh, you could go to Spreaker.com. You could search for Talk Shit Radio Network. Yes. And uh, we had Joe on for a little bit this morning. So you'll be able to hear Joe talking some shit with us live. Um, and again, you know, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. I appreciate uh, everybody tuning in, everybody listening, all our people that join us in the chat room. Our and, faithful uh, listeners out there. Our faithful listeners. Gotta love them. Yes, we do. We, we do. do. All right, guys. Talk Shit Radio Network. Really appreciate everybody. Uh, we're out. We'll see you tomorrow morning. See ya. Peace.